I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization. Which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca. Produce our own cocaine. Where we could run our business free from interference from the police. The government. The army. The Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me. Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Olivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. 
means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Qatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers, this is the help you promised that Sandoval promised a single Yankee died So you send a handful of soldiers Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans we aren't here remember these soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer With their help you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber Senora Bowman? Meet Pak Atari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there's a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. 
We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Whoa. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I'm spotting another tango. Ready to fire. He's history. Good to go. Enemy down. That's one less bad guy. Silencio, Marche. Pinche cabron. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Weapons free, weapons free. That's a kill. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. That's a kill. That's a kill. Tango down. That's a kill. Got him, he's down. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pac Katari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. <sighs> Are you hurt? <sighs> Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. <sighs> these aucas, these... Demons they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval was when you questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming through. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, 
They were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. Taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Pregunta por las promociones para nuevos clientes. Fire. I'm engaging takeoffs. Eyes up. We've got Unidad vehicles on the road. Looks like a standard patrol plus a combo truck. Katari's people would like to get their hands on those radios. What do you think, boss? Combo gear's in good shape. We'll pass on the location of the truck to the rebels. Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Katari. We'll get it done. Stay down, I'll be 
right there. So how brutal is Yuri and Polito's torture anyway? I sure as hell don't want to find out. But I mean, obviously, it's nothing as softball as waterboarding, right? I mean, we're talking permanent damage and death here. They're also medically trained, so you have to figure there are some pharmaceuticals at work to keep their victims awake. But see, back in the day, the real torturers didn't need drugs to keep their victims awake. So they're amateurs. That's obvious from how few people survive their interrogations. A real torturer, a professional, he or she is in control. He or she understands what's needed. Yuri and Polito are sloppy. They get carried away. They do it for the fun of it, not because it's a job and not for the art. So yes, they're brutal. But not because they try to be. They're brutal because they're incompetent. <laughs> You've got a dark side hidden under that smile, don't you? Hostile down. Tango down. Tango number three. Target down. Got him, he's down. I've got the officer. Pedro! Espérate, cabrón, espérate! And why do we give I gotta say, I feel bad for Agent Sanchez. But that guy was crazy. I mean, his balls must have knocked against his knees, they were so big. Six years undercover, that's damn brutal. Think of all the evil shit he must have done to become Swinger's right hand. He's not just driving the guy around. Sandoval's dropping bodies, making sure shipments of cocaine end up on the street, doing the bad deed to the people you're supposed to be working to protect. That's what gets me. How do you live with it for that long? Shit. He's dead now, so I guess he didn't. These promises of equality and transparency... The cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. ...and prosperity to the individuals... We got companies. How dare those hijo putas of Santa Blanca march into Bolivia with their guns and their money and try to transform our patria into their drug-making machine. They already have our... Stand up, mis amigos. Stand up and take up arms against... The people of Bolivia. The power to stop them. We That's a are larger in numbers. Check our land. Take... Broadcast complete. That should boost the rebels' morale. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. Target down. That's a kill. We got a 20 in the garage where Polito parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there tells us where he and his girlfriend are. This is the garage. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. Tango down. Most visual day of America <laughs> by the camp entrance. Eyes on Polito's car. This car is swanky. And there's a bloody condom in the glove box. Make that two bloody condoms. I guess that confirms it's Yuri and Polito's ride. Even if the condoms come standard, it's a sweet fucking car. I never could understand the car opening. You get an expensive whip, put chrome rims on it, then you just drive it around the same dusty times you were driving around before. You totally want one of these cars, don't you? Fancy car, fancy suit, still the same street, so what's the point? Air conditioning.
All right. Now it's up to Bowman and the activity. They'll check the car's GPS for locations where Yuri and Polito may be hiding out. Got another tango, and baby makes three. Going on. Okay, we're still good. Damn, that sure got his attention. All right, breathe easy. Hostile down. Here's target number five. That's a kill. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends prisoner to Yuri and Polito for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are, but he's sitting in an Unidad firebase. We've got enemy activity nearby. Hey, an Unidad soldier. I don't see him. There, Sniper the up in the point. tower. That's a kill. Hostile down. Okay, this is the Unidad firebase. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target alive. Roger that. Ooh. He's history. Hold still. Okay, okay. Tango down. Oh, yeah. What the hell is this? I was going. Mierda. You may as well kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo. Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but let's just say, yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Uh. Oye, Polito. I got a lamp ready for delivery. Un borrego. Compadre, I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Kulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hate him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Kulta now. Looks like Kulta is still smoldering. Keep an eye out for the rebel they've got held here. Fuck, engaging. <laughs> Get down. Oh, young gringos, help me get out of here. You okay, hermano? What do you want from me? Yuri and Polito, the fuckers who tortured you. We're here to make them pay for what they did. But we need to know where they took you. We didn't travel far. I... I remember that much, and it was quiet. Out in the country, somewhere. 
There, there, there was a smell, like old animal skins. That's all I know. I, I'm sorry. It's all right. At least now we know they're close by. Gracias. Nomad, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it they use that spot for their enhanced interrogations. Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. I know Yuri and Pleto are a twisted pair, and I know this is payback for Sandoval, but let's keep this clean and tidy. Revenge is never clean and tidy. What's that saying about revenge being a dish? Mm, they say it tastes damn good. Well, just don't make a damn mess of it. Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him and we're real fucking late. Time to make it right. Cariño. Who were you before you met? Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. I could not have even imagined a life so deep, a love so full as the love I have with you. Oh, God, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was afraid of Dimash, out of focus, until I could see myself through your eyes. Damn. Just now when I was breaking that man's hands, I was imagining that he had tried to touch you. Come on, you're such a jealous man. And each finger I broke was punishment for a sin those hands had committed against you. Gordo, you're going to make me cry. I can't. I have a confession. You know you can tell me anything, anything at all. Before, when you drenched that man with water, and I was electrocuting him with a cattle prod? But, Mirina, that was textbook perfection. Let me speak. After that man had defecated himself because all the pain we had put him through, the suffering, <laughs> a passion like Christ, when he was lying there whimpering, I almost felt pity for him. I wanted to take care of him. To wrap my arms around him, to wipe away his tears. Yuri, look at me. What are you trying to tell me? Amor, I wanna have a baby. Whoever the fuck you are, I'm gonna bleach you slow. Yuri is down. Terminated. You know how in the movies people always act like revenge isn't satisfying? Like it doesn't make them feel any better? Sure. Well, I feel fucking great. Taking out that lovey-dovey horror show also earned us some points with the locals. Make contact when you find something new. Bowman out.
Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, Hefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. Whoever is behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, AKA El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows, how to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud. Which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old grandpa. Find the access code to the cocaine factory in Okoro. Once you've got the code, get inside and wreck the place. Wait, let me place a mine. I've got some hostile activity. Yo, placing a mine over here. Heads up. I've got eyes on the assistant. Watch your shots. We still need him to talk. Fuck. Engage him. Fire. Opening fire on these fuckers. We'll go. Escort car has been destroyed. That LT is getting away. Go Perry to the south at the end. Oh shit! Oh shit! Use me! Don't kill me! Por favor! I have a family! The access code to the cocaine factory. What is it? I've got two boys, two little ones, mis chiquitos Gustavo and Felipe. I've got pictures. You want to see them? No, I don't want to see the damn pictures. Just give me the access code and we're done. Pero que es eso? What's the matter? You don't like kids or something? Jesus. You want to go home to Gustavo and Felipe? Just give me the damn number. Who? What? Eyes up. Let's get back to work. Tu bueno. Mire, it's 654-375. That's it, I swear. Bowman. We've got the code. I'm sending you a virus to upload into the factory's automation software. It'll screw with the chemical processing in subtle ways that'll spoil the coke, then break the machines when someone tries to remove it. That'll cost Santa Blanca a lot of product and take the factory out of action for months. Keep quiet. Chinga la verga! Okay, we're in. 
We'll hit the control room first. Copy that. Controls are foobard. That'll shut the factory down for months. Where to next? Let's search the warehouses. We take out any cocaine stocks we find, then we exfil. Copy that. I am El General Man, leader of Unidad, and I promise you that we That's a kill. A Tango down. To be talking with you. Doors open. Taking out the control room must have shorted the locks. Stack up and sweep the building. Take out any cocaine stocks you find. Roger that. Spotting another tango. Hostile down. Tango down. I got the C4 primed. I got the C4 primed. Destroyed. Let's go. Chopper, hit the dirt. Lock short. Let's go. Demo is primed and in place. Stockpile destroyed. Let's keep moving. Damn, that was a shitload of pole vault we just wrecked. Somebody's gonna be pissed. This will put El Emisario's nuts in a vice. He'll have to come out of hiding to deal with the fallout, and then he's ours. We've got intel on a converted fishing boat near Puerto Grande. It's being used as a cocaine lab. Find the lab and destroy it. Tango down. Target down. He's history. Hostile down. We got civilians dangerously close. Check your targets before you shoot. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. Coming up on the objective. Let's get this done quick. We get aboard, find a way to destroy the lab, then get clear. That's a kill. Tango down. Gas is running. Now all we need is a spark. Then we run like hell? We most definitely run like hell. Job's done. Let's get the hell off this boat before it explodes. Any day you blow shit up is a good day. Alamosario's gonna have to deal with this quick, or his granddad will skin him alive. We'll keep turning up the heat until he jumps. Then we get him. Coordinates here. Looks like the location of a coca paste lab in Okoro. You want to take it out? Absolutely. The more we disrupt El Amisario's operations, the more pressure we put on him to come out of hiding. Target lost. Lost visual on the target. Stack of tires. Ready. Call the shot. I don't have a shot. Tango down. Coming up on the objective. Get ready. We need to get inside and destroy their mixing vats and ovens. Taking those out will shut the place down for months. He's history. Target down. Got a network of chemical drain pipes here. We might be able to use them to get into the site undetected. You ain't worried about rubbing up against all those chemicals? 
Hey, man. A few extra body parts never hurt anybody. Open fire. I got the C4 primed. Demo's primed and in place. Thanks, destroyed. El Emissario better pull his head out of his ass, or pretty soon he won't have an operation left to run. Yeah, that's the plan. Newman, this is Pat Katari. The damage you've done in Okoro has made El Emissario very nervous. He's terrified of what El Yayo will think when he finds out how much production capacity has been lost. Sounds good so far. To make up the difference, El Emisario has ordered his men to take over a hospital in Okoro and convert it into a cocaine lab. Son of a bitch. We must keep the cartel from taking over the hospital. It's vital to the people of Okoro and to my people as well. I have sent a small force to defend the building, but it's not enough. They won't last long without help. Understood. Tell your people we're on the way. What the hell, compas? You've come just in time. My scouts tell me El Emisario's men are on their way. How's it looking here? We've sent away as many doctors and patients as we could. Was a few trucks loaded with medicines and vaccines. That way, if the hospital is lost, at least there will be something left for the sick and injured. Yeah, pues. My daughter was born in this hospital. Now here I am, carajo, defending it from cartel thugs who want to turn it into one of their damn cocaine labs. Is nothing sacred to these people? Nothing but death, compa. That's why we're here. El Emisario's men can hit the place at any moment. We need to get dug in tight before the shooting starts. Roger that. Uh. Fucking hell! Uh. Get down! Uh. All tangles are down. Area's secure. Shit got close for a second there. Mini Dad has confiscated a truck full of medicines from the rebels. I want you to take it back and get it to Qatari's people. They'll make sure it's put to good use. That's a kill. Hostile down. To kill. Ready to engage. Target down. Katari, this is Nomad. We've got the package you asked for. We're delivering it now. Bravo, my friend. Drive carefully. The glass ampules containing the vaccine are very fragile. Take a turn too quickly and... Uh... I get it. We'll be careful. Nomad out. That's a kill. That's a kill. Round just missed. Copy's looking for the source. Sorry, this is Nomad. The package has been delivered. It's all yours. Thank you, Kumpa. I'm in your debt. Those vaccines will save many lives. The Coro's a mess, and Sueño is calling for El Emisario's head. Not even El Yeyo can protect him now. Track down El Emisario and bring him in. Let's see if he's willing to cut a deal. Any nearby. Yo, cartel gunman. There, at the checkpoint.
Hostile down. The drone is up. I got eyes on a sniper. I got a third target. Here's target number five. Marking an enemy. Sniper out there. That's a kill. Target down. Tango down. He's history. They're coming right at us. What's the word, boss? Hostile down. I'll be damned. Ladies and gentlemen, El Emisario has left the building. Killed himself rather than face his own grandfather. That's fucked up. I felt like we drove him to it. Come on, man, stop it with that shit. He made a choice. We need to check the body. See if he's got anything on him. Hey, got a suicide note. Bowman, this is Nomad. We found El Emisario. He's dead. What happened? He killed himself. Left a note to El Sueño taking the blame for the loss of the labs in Okoro. Guess the shame of failing his grandfather was just too much to take. That little shit. We had El Yayo by the nuts and now this. Guess he wasn't quite the fuck up we thought he was. He just didn't break the way we expected him to. It happens sometimes. Well, you do this sort of thing a lot? I do whatever it takes to get the job done. Same as you. Innovation versus experience. Technology versus tradition. Youth versus age. La gringa versus El Yayo. I had been hoping they would complement each other, but they could not get along. They were too different. I have been producing cocaine this way for years. That's exactly the problem. Our product was so good, the demand was only increasing. We couldn't keep up. I don't care how you do it. Science, tradition, or voodoo. Just make more. Or I'll find someone that can. Bowman, we just arrived in Agua Verde. Welcome to Narco Paradise. Agua Verde used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into a place to wine and dine VIPs. Run by this narco junior called Carzida. He brings politicians, judges, and CEOs there for relaxation and cartel-sponsored debauchery. What's the plan? We need to know who Sueño's making deals with. Carzida must have a guest list somewhere. You get him, you get the names. Understood. We're on it. We got some intel from Bowman on our boy Carzida. Javier Coronel Bayardo, which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a Mepi, a Mexican preppy, or a Prepsican if you prefer. His main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sonny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D. Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does best. Making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint. She just went to rehab for saying something racist. 
What Karzita offers the cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before. And it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. So no greatness, but since coming to Bolivia, since we have bound the cartel... We've got a 20 on Karzita's assistant. Bowman thinks taking him out will help draw Karzita back. Let's move. Shit, we got company. Hey, we got an arco with a submachine gun by the building entrance. Bowman, we're at the location. Karzita's assistant have any identifying characteristics? Nothing we're 100% on. You should have a few listening devices in your loadout. Try bugging some of the areas where a lot of the VIPs hang out. One of them could give us the assistant's location. I'll call you when we hear something. And remember, the bugs won't be worth shit if they spot you. Stay out of sight, people. Plant the bugs and diddy mal. Don't even cast a shadow. Hostile down. Bugs are in place. They should pick up enough dirt for Bowman to get the location on Karzita's assistant. Let's make like a tree and get the fuck out. Karzita's assistant is as popular as a JV cheerleader on the pill. The bugs picked up a guest mentioning where he is. I'm sending you the location now. Tango Mike. Don't waste any time with this guy. Just kill him and be done with it. Roger that. No matter. Got some hostile activity. That's a kill. Close. You ready for Karzita's assistant? Keep the mess at a minimum, but make sure he's dead. I got eyes on a weapons case. That's a kick. Got him. He's down. Silencio. Spare me. March I have cash. Uh, All right. Great. The assistant is down. I say again, the assistant is down. Won't be long till Karzita has to come handle his business personally. We need to send a message that Karzita's resort isn't the safe haven the cartel claims it to be. Hit the casino. Tear the place up and frighten the customers. I want them on the next plane out of Bolivia. The drone is up. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Fire, fire, fire! Tango down. Casino up ahead. Remember, just demo and destruction. We don't need to drop bodies to trash the place. Let's tear the roof off this motherfucker. Target down. They're gonna make you back up. Looks like we've riled them up. Move! We got company. Frag out. Clear. VIPs have bugged out. Building is wrecked. Sapper Daddy's pleased with our offering. This sure as hell should get Karzita's attention. Now, we rolling bones or did the table get blown to shit? There's a high-profile politician who's using Karzita's resort to hide his flings with I'm local in. escorts. Get close to this asshole and record his next little fling. We'll post it all over social media and embarrass him and the cartel both. Look alive, we got company. I got eyes on a sniper. Hey, we got a narco next to the cartel pickup. Keep it quiet. We get caught, our days as peeping toms are over. So bad. No one knows how bad your friend might be. You need to be punished. I do. Me encanta que me castiguen. 
What the fuck was that? Whatever the fuck it was, we got it. Cause it is days as a cartel pimp are over. I don't wanna watch that shit again. Time we put Carzita's resort out of business. Give it the full rock star treatment. Just don't hurt any of the guests. the target. He's history. Tango down. This ain't the place I don't know what is. We're shooting everything just to scare off the VIPs and get Carzita back here. So it won't earn you the Medal of Honor. Just don't shoot any civilians. We got Sicarios. Nothing like a little gunplay to scare off the public. Amen to that. Hold this position. Hold on. They're on a wild goose chase now. Opening fire. Parking area, watch out. Hostile kill. Target down. Helicopter inbound. We've done enough damage to Carzita's resort. I don't think the rest of these guests are gonna check out. A bunch of dudes shooting off guns tends to have that effect. Nomad, the activity's just intercepted a call. You've caused enough trouble that Carzita's back in Aqua Verde. He's gonna throw a party every day of the week, hoping to convince people that things are all right. Where's the party? His place. I think you should crash it. Make him give up that guest list. That's exactly what I had in mind. Nomad out. Once this VIP list gets into the open, all hell's gonna break loose. The cartel's gonna lose connections all over the world. I would not want to be Carzita when El Sueño finds out. I heard that. He'd best find some place where Santa Blanca can't get to him. Like Mars or the bottom of the fucking Mariana's Trench. Carzita will be fine. People like him always find a way to survive. He'll probably drop out of sight and turn up in a year or two, running a resort on the fucking Riviera. Guy looks out for drunks and fools. And sleazy motherfuckers named Carzita. Hell. Get the hell out of there. That's one less bad guy. Got eyes on our boy Carzita. Do not kill Carzita. We need the HVT alive to give up what he knows. Watch it, Naco. This suit is worth more than everything you own. It ain't worth shit if it's covered in your blood. Ah! Oh, Sam, this is bullshit! I want to talk to my lawyer! Lawyer? Ah! We're in the big leagues, asshole. The only thing your lawyer can do now is make sure your will's in order. Hey! Hold on now! Let's work this out! How much money do you want? 500,000? I can do it! It's easy for me! You know who my father is? Ah! I don't give a fuck about money, Carzita. I work for the U.S. government. We spend billions of dollars on hand sanitizer alone. Pork barrels, fuck face! Ah! What do you want from me? I want a list of names of everyone who's ever visited your little resort. I don't know, man. Te lo juro. All right, fine. You didn't get this from me. But all the guest info stored on a server, okay? God! We've got intel on a server containing a list of VIPs who've had ties with Carzita's resort. Hack the server and get me that list. Target acquired. Standing by. Tango down. That's a kill. Tango down. A 
hostile down. Tango down. All right, this is it. Let's get that list of names and go. Starting download. Stay sharp. Shit balls. Sniper, take cover! Bowman, Agua Verde is all clear. It'll take them years to repair these relationships. Carzita's business in Agua Verde is done. Some people on that VIP list are gonna get very uncomfortable meetings. Government heavies are gonna ask what the fuck they were doing in Bolivia. We're doing good. Keep hitting them hard. Demo complete. We're good to go. I'm not even sure I want to know who's on that guest list. The Bilderberg group, most likely. The who? Exactly. Ramon Feliz. Blogger. Academic. Internet journalist. All he ever wanted was to tell the truth. But whose truth? His? Felice thought that there is only one truth. But we know that truth, like history, is written by the winner. His blog slandered me day after day after day. Por supuesto, something had to be done. So, I hired hackers to track him down. And offered him a job. I explained that telling my truth was much more preferable. My truth kept him alive. All Ramon Feliz ever wanted was to tell the truth. Now he had more truth than he could bear. Bowman, we're in Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you'll understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocalero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocaleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocaleros and disrupt Madro Coca's production. Ruperta Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal, but the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. Spoiler alert. This is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madra Coca grew up as a raspuccina. A coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dreamed would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pablo died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coca deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You don't fuck with Mama. Familiarize yourselves with Bowman's briefing on Santa Blanca's coke production pipeline. People at the top are El Yayo and La Gringa. Yayo's Bolivian, an ex cocalero turned cocaine producer. Gringa seems to be a disgraced chemist. She used to work for an NGO here in Bolivia before joining up with the cartel.
El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. Coming up in the Agricultural Cooperative now. There's Chavez. He's probably about to make his big speech. More like a big middle finger to the cartel. If the guy's got balls, I'll give him that. Let's see if we can talk some sense into him before this gets ugly. Who demonios are you? Did Madre Coca send you? Expecting trouble, senor? Oiga, you didn't answer my question. I'm a friend, and I'm trying to keep you from making a big mistake. Mistake? Usted que sabe? Since when is helping my people a mistake? If you make this speech, people are gonna get killed. It's that simple. Madre Coca is gonna send in her people, and it's gonna get bloody. So I should stay silent? That's your answer? Se equivoca. Then you are no better than Madre Coca. Get out of my way, gringo. I must speak with my people. This is Nomad. We're at the Agricultural Cooperative. Chavez blew off our warning. He's about to speak to the Cocaleros. The rebels say Chavez is the real deal. A true revolutionary. He's a dead man walking. The cartel is not gonna let this slide. Do whatever it takes to keep Chavez alive. That'll show the rebels we're serious about stopping Madre Coca. On it. Place your mind for our Sicario friends. We grow coca for her to keep our families. We live in Costa Kill. It's not right. The few brave souls are standing up to Madre Coca and the Cartel. These rebels are fighting the Sacramento. it up. Chavez is secure. Good work. Keep digging for intel on Madre Coca's operations. We need to know where the Coca leaves are going and where they're being stored prior to transit. Roger that. We're on it. Then he is no longer wandering the earth with a void in his soul. His life has a definition of her. Target down. Santa Blanca. Uh, He's history. Hour. you. Check your targets. We got civilians in the area. That's Opening fire on these fuckers. Get to cover. Move. That's a kill. There's a schedule on coca shipments going out of the freight yard here in Tabacal. Who feels like getting their hands dirty? Coming up on the target. Damn. You can run a hell of a lot of freight through a rail yard like that. Used to be coffee beans for a Yapa Cafe back in the day. Now it's all coca all the time. We'll need to sweep the entire yard for coca stocks. Focus on the warehouses and the main building. Any stocks we find, we take them out. Copy that. Let's get it done. I got one narco. He's history. Huh? 
Got eyes on a coca stock here. I got the C4 primed. There's coca stock destroyed. Let's move on to the next. It's the Santa Blanca cartel. They already employ many of you. And many of our down. neighbors in our immoralities were children and simple dudes. An attraction to death has long been one of mankind's great taboos. And taboos are made to be broken. She will help you become the greatest person you could possibly be. Like Do not all right. have accepted this truth that all men are created equal. Fucking hell! stock inside the main building. Amada Santa Fuck it down. We gotta hit the last stock. We've got a coca stock here, staged outside one of the warehouses. The demo's primed. To the individual citizen and the nation is through a friend. Ten million dollars worth of coca leaves in those stocks. That's gonna hit Madre Coca where it hurts. Sniper, down, down! plan for a convoy that moves along the death road. A security team rides along with it. There's a name here. Salazar. Bowman, we're picking up chatter about a cartel lieutenant by the name of Salazar. You got anything on him? Ah, uh, yes. Jorge Salazar. Madricoca's baby boy. Say again? The story goes something like this. Salazar was 17 years old and working in the fields when Madricoca took over Tabacal. She took a liking to him from the start. Said he reminded her of her own son who died when he was about Jorge's age. She offered Jorge a job. Jorge's father protested. So, she had the old man stuffed in the sack of tires and set him on fire. Jorge has been her adopted son and right-hand man ever since. That's seriously fucked up. Salazar's probably the one person in the world Madricoca really trusts. We grab him. It'll turn her world upside down. We'll see what we can do. Let's go. No reason to waste rounds with Silencio. Marche. Aquí están las armas. Suck my dick, Blanquiñosa de mierda. I ain't saying shit. Salazar, did it ever occur to you that I don't actually need you to talk? Without you, there's no one to run things in Tabacal. Madricoca will have to come out of hiding, and then we'll have her. Entonces, you think I'm the only one she trusts? Carajo, mujer. She has people loyal to her working with the farmers. Now that's an interesting piece of information. See? You're cooperating already. Wait! I didn't! Sure you did. And Madricoca would skin you alive if she ever found out. Give us a name, Salazar. And we promise this stays between you and us. If not... Dale, pues. Okay! This is Bowman. We got her. Holy shit, we got her. Say again? I just heard from my rebel contact in Tabacal. Madracoca's reached out to them. She thinks they're the ones who got Salazar, and she wants it back. She wants to set up a meet to negotiate. You believe her? I believe she wants Salazar. The rest doesn't matter. We've got Madracoca right where we want her. You can accompany the rebels to the meet. Talk to her. Convince her that if she wants Salazar back, she's got to play along. I'm sending coordinates for the RV now. The rebels will take you to the meet. I'm counting on you to keep things from getting out of hand, Nomad. We need Madracoca alive. Bowman, we're coming up on the RV now. Good. The Rebels are waiting. 
Follow them, and they'll lead you to Madrakoka. Yours is janky soldiers. That's right. Follow us. I ain't gonna lie, boss. I've got a bad feeling about this one. You think Madrakoka's playing us? Shit, this chick is tougher than alligator hide. Of course she's playing us. Bowman thinks Salazar's her blind spot. Madrakoka will play along if she thinks she can get him back. And if Bowman's wrong, it's our asses twisting in the wind, not hers. How's that different from any other day, Holt? It's one thing to send us in with bad intel. That shit happens, I get it. But this is sticking our hands in the gator's mouth and trusting it not to bite. I mean, what if this whole thing is just to draw us out so Madre Coca can grab one of us? Then she'll have somebody to trade for Salazar. The hell makes you think she'd do that? It's what I'd do. And Madre Coca is a hell of a lot meaner than I'll ever be. Know what I'm saying? We're coming up on the meat. Stay cool. We're here to talk. When her crew starts slinging lead, don't hesitate. Slaughter the fuckers. If she's playing us, she better make her first shot count, because I guarantee she ain't getting another. I heard that. Ambush! Light these assholes up! Fire, fire, fire! Frag out! Linear to culeros! Fucking hell! That's a kill. Marking in the camp standing down. We're good. He's his. No man. Madre Coca's dead. What the hell happened? It was an ambush. Madre Coca never had any intention of negotiating. She was looking for hostages of her own to trade for Salazar. She damn near got them. <laughs> Tricky old bitch. Leverage works both ways, Bowman. She knew you couldn't resist taking a run at her. The only mistake she made was thinking we'd go down easy once the trap was sprung. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. I still think it was worth the risk. Turning her would have been one hell of a coup. Take your team and disappear. Madra Coca's death is gonna cause a lot of waves, and I need to see how it all shakes out. Roger that. No mad out. I had told El Yayo and La Gringa to step up production. They claimed they were doing their best. Obviously, I had not been clear enough. This man's life was in your hands, and this is what you've done with it. I can't do this anymore. Please, just let me go home. I swear to God, I won't tell anyone what happened here. Sometimes I don't think you take me seriously. Next time I will show you how serious I can be. Bowman, you shifted off to K Manus. What have you got for us? For the past couple of years, the cartel has been experimenting with high-tech submarines as a way to smuggle powder into the U.S. Wait, back. Sorry about the interruption. No worries, let's make this quick. For the past couple of years, the cartel has been experimenting with high-tech submarines as a way to smuggle powder into the U.S. Best we can tell, these subs follow one of the tributaries up to the Amazon, then into the Atlantic for a transit to the Florida coast. Jesus, it's a couple thousand miles. Exactly. The man running the program is called El Cerebro. We've got almost nothing on this guy. Rumor has it he's some kind of genius, a real mad scientist type. We know he's been ordering all kinds of military-grade electronics to upgrade his subs capabilities. We need a better picture of what's going on in Caimanes. Get me all the intel you can on their submarine ops, as well as El Cerebro and his research. If you get actionable intel on the cartel submarine fleet, take them out. Let's put some hurt on El Cerebro and see how he reacts. Maybe he'll make a mistake and we can grab him. Sounds good. We're on it. Most cartel members are violent idiots who are too high to care. But Patricio Mendez Valle, a.k.a. El Cerebro, is an oddball genius who's too fucking smart to bother. Nidia Flores spotted his intellect when he was just a kid. She sent him to college in Mexico and later grad school in California. Word is he was too strange and misanthropic for even that crowd but he popped up on our radar. El Cerebro heads up the cartel's submersible program out of Caimenez. From Caimenez, his semi-submersibles, sometimes carrying as much as 10 tons of cocaine, head downriver to Brazil, 
then to the Atlantic. From there, floating just a few feet below the surface, they can go all the way to Mexico, even as far as Florida. But smuggling with these semi-submersibles will soon be a thing of the past. He and Nydia have ambitions to make reusable, fully submersible craft. Think what a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise could do with a fleet of submarines. Smuggling would be just the start. If we're gonna take down these subs, we need El Cerebro and his jagged ass brain intact and cooperative. Just remember, he's Nydia's pet project. She won't give him up easy. Here we go. This map's got locations for cartel subs anchored along the river. If we move fast, we can take them out before they head out on another smuggling run. to kill. Demo's primed and in place. Target destroyed. Don't get slack with that security. Boom, target again. Tango down. Activity directly to your local underground organization. Juntos, we can defeat the rebel menace. All subs Objective complete. Only way Cerebro is gonna get that coke to Florida is with a fucking rowboat. According to this, El Cerebro is buying loads of military-grade electronics from foreign sources for his new sub-design. Looks like a shipment just arrived by boat a couple of days ago. You think we should go after it? That cargo could be an intelligence gold mine. We steal that boat and turn it over to Bowman. She can have the agency's techs go over it with a fine-tooth comb. Say the word. That's one last bad guy. Tango down. She will help you become the greatest person you could. Let's get out of here. Where are we dropping off the boat? Bowman has an RP on the river. Some kind of old Cayman hunter shack. This ride ain't all bad. Shit, give me a beer and I'll pretend we're back home off the coast of Myrtle Beach. You still think you're 22 or something? Nah, I'm just looking to hook up with 22 year olds. I'm sure you are. Too bad none of them feel the same way. Hey! I'm gonna put people that was just I'll let Bowman know she can have her crew pick up the boat. After the agency's techs examine that prize, they ought to have a good feel for the rest of El Cerebro's designs. Looks like we found the cartel primary base in Caimanes. A lot of activity around that warehouse in the middle. Could be big enough for El Cerebro to use as a research lab. Maybe. Let's take a closer look. Let's keep our heads down and see if we can get into the central warehouse undetected. I want to find out what El Cerebro's working on. Let's move. I've got Target the down. That's a kill. I got another. That's five.
primed. Let's gather some info, Ricky Tick. See if we can't grab something that tells us what El Cerebro was working on. We've got the intel we need on El Cerebro's research. We took out his prototype. Project's Fubar for sure. Good work in Caimanis. Taking out the cartel subs has cut shipments to Florida by more than a third. And the gear we intercepted and that intel we found on El Cerebro's prototype? First impressions are that El Cerebro was in the process of building a sub with serious legs. We're talking about a boat that could reach as far as Europe and do so completely undetected. Damn, that ain't good. Are you ready for the good news? We've got an ID on El Cerebro. The intel you brought in helped us connect the dots. I'll send you everything I've got in a minute. Outstanding. We got a location on our mad scientist? Negative. His OPSEC is damn good. Multiple safe houses. Never stops at the same place twice in a row the whole nine. But he's got an assistant that does most of the grunt work. He spends enough time on his phone that we've been able to triangulate his location. So we follow the assistant and see if he leads us to El Cerebro. You got it. Stand by for the data. Where, boss? Lost my... Kill confirmed. I've got eyes on the assistant. Keep your distance and sure as shit keep him alive. We have to tail him to El Cerebro. That's one down. Let's go. This is the place. If El Cerebro is in there, snatch and grab. We want him alive, got it? You le dijiste eso en su jeta. Shit, we're made. The assistant's making a break for it. That's it, we're clear. Gotcha. My apologies. I think you can see why I might allow myself to be excited, though. This is a disturbing development. Disturbing development. Don't blame you at all. I mean, you don't look like the sort who would work for Santa Blanca, which means you're likely with the American government, which implies I'm in for an extended disruption on my plans. You'll adjust. I don't have to adjust. I blotted all this out already. Weeks ago, in fact. Maybe months. I just need to activate Contingency Plan Alpha Set 984. Which is? Going along with whatever you fine people want me to do, of course. At least for now. It maximizes my chances of survival while I figure out which one of my escape plans might still be viable. I think we're gonna get along just fine. Always keeps stabs on me, even when she thinks she's ignoring me. I really ought to go back. I should worry. I could fire myself out of the back hatch. I prefer you didn't. But I've almost cracked this. You know how cold it is underwater? The issue of chemical binding? Not an issue. It ought to be easy to find monoethanol, I mean, in Bolivia, right? It's just an issue of scale. Can I call Nidia Flores? She's probably busy, but she won't mind. She knows me. We're close. What am I talking? It's probably. No, no, no. I mean, scrubbing needs two compartments. Wouldn't leave room for any people. That's so? I want suspects for a Colombian submersible that just had a breathing tube sticking out of the surface of the water. Imagine the heat signature. It's probably best I don't call media till I have a real solution. Did I mention I know her? Do you know her? I haven't yet had the pleasure. Wait a minute! Unmanned submersible! 
What's the solution? Why do we even bother putting people in the sub? No idea, pal. We're at the rally point. I'll take him from here. Thank you, baby Jesus. I'm sick of listening to this guy. Now you know how we feel every time you open your mouth. Ma'am, maybe we'll be looking for me. Good, because we're looking for her. They say you've got a good brain between those ears, camarada. Now that you're up Shit's Creek without a submersible, you may have figured out that you need me to help you, and I will, once you help me. Huh. Forgive me for asking, but what do you think this is? Compelling? Dramatic? The rocks here have been around for centuries, long before you were a gamut in your father's testicle. And they'll be around long after you've gone back to the dust. Do you understand? These rocks have more significance in the universe than you do. And you're high, and you're hypocritical war on drugs. Hmm. Are you taking me to Nidia, or are we waiting for her? Do you not understand that I will lock you up in prison, where tattooed neo-Nazis will use you as a human pincushion for their dicks? <laughs> the problem is that you still think that anything matters. Anal rape, cocaine, murder, it's all nonsense. Do you think the Jaguars waste any concern on how they feel? Or that the rabbits they eat contemplate the name of God? Meanwhile, you're still lying to yourself, convincing yourself that you make a difference. Uh, so nothing matters to you, El Cerebro. El Cerebro? I am not El Cerebro. El Cerebro slipped through your fingers before you even knew he was there. He is quite simply gone, as though he never existed. What do you mean we got the wrong guy? Looks like El Cerebro planted most of the intel we followed. He led us on a wild goose chase while he bugged out. Then who the fuck is Bowman talking to? El Cerebro's top submersible designer. The sacrificial lamb, basically. Damn, that's some next level supervillain shit right there. Either way, we put the cartel submarine fleet out of business. Could take years to get that program running again. And El Cerebro? The trail's cold for now. Bowman will keep rear to the ground in case he resurfaces, but we're moving on. Nidia Flores was in trouble, and she knew it. It wasn't just the drugs that were being attacked. It was the money, La Bronca. Money that was supposed to have gone to our investors in Mexico, and never made it. What are you gonna do? No excuses, no rationalizations, no nothing. Nidia knew she had to find the solution, before the solution found her. Bowman. We just crossed into Barvechos. Good news. Sueño sent an accountant named Polpo to Barvechos to check out Nidia Flores' books. Word is Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. So whether she's skimming from Sueño or not, Nidia is not happy to have Polpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barvechos from Brazil, and the most of that gets laundered through Banco de Barvechos. With Polpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nidia Flores has sticky fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Polpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barvechos. Grab Wagner, and make him cough up Polpo's location. All the Sicarios in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus, because he's got his tentacles everywhere. You take him out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. Pulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses to cement relationships with politicians and police, and to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Nidia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barvechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Nidia's profits must be looking a little light. El Pulpo's right-hand man, Wagner, is at the Sepuco silver mine. Get to Wagner and find out where his boss is hiding. Suppose exporting our product to Mexico and Europe. And the question everyone is asking, will these new narcos... 
target down. Bowman didn't have any intel on what this guy Wagner looks like. As my soon-to-be ex likes to say, when in doubt, ask someone. I think he left the word motherfucker off the end of that sentence. When it comes to my ex, the motherfucker is implied. Tango is dead. Shit, they found a body. The LT's making a run for it. I'm engaging Tango's. Lita, this next jam was my grandma's favorite. Good to go. Tell me where I can find Pulpo's boy Wagner or I start shooting off toes. You got some anger issues, Wayne. But I'll tell you, Wagner was snatched off the street by Nidia's guys. In your life, we have given Bolivia the investment and the jobs that have helped you improve your lives. Hostile down. Excuse me, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. But who are you? For now, just know that we're the people keeping you alive. Let's move. Can you believe those cabrones? They say Nidia Flores thinks Pulpo is gonna steal from her. Robarle, por favor. Don't you think you got bigger problems than bitching about office politics right now? Pulpo y sueños, pinche. Oh, engaging balls. Let's get back to it. Did Sueño hire contractors again? In serio, I have not seen the invoices. Seriously, not your problem. Wait, you work for Pulpo, don't you? Is this over that? Him and his secret accounts. As his bookkeeper, how am I supposed to track that? Let's get back to business. It's que, Nita, I'm scared of what El Sueño will do if we don't complete the audit. Coopere total south, we're clear. And who was it that attacked you? Men who work for Nidia Flores. It was nonsense. They suspect Pulpo plotting against Nidia. Will you excuse us for a moment? Pulpo and Nidia have it in for each other, huh? We need to use it to our advantage. Make them both think they're stealing from each other. Exactly. Just need to find ways to do that. We'll get back out there. Get some intel we can use to break that relationship. Hey, who did you guys say you were again? Pulpo's cousin, on his mother's side. Two people who work for the same man, Nidia and El Pulpo, don't seem to like each other much. They're naturally suspicious of each other and their intentions. We fuel those suspicions and we can get them starting their own little war. Steal one of Santa Blanca's cash trucks and hide it in El Pulpo's garage. When Nidia Flores finds out, she'll blame Pulpo for the theft. Ready? Open fire. We'll go. Take it in. Pulpo has a garage in the area. We'll drop the truck off there. What the hell kind of accountant has a garage? The kind who invests in all sorts of businesses to help launder his boss's money. Here's the garage.
That's a kill. That's a kill. Well, that's it. Now Bowman can leak the location of Nidia's people. And Nidia will start gunning for Pulpo. We've got some accounting records for a Santa Blanca cash vault in Barvechos. All we have to do is rob it and pin the blame on our good friend Pulpo. Sounds easy enough, right? Is it ever? Hack, this is Nomad. Calling from Barvechos. Como va todo? What can we do for you? We're planning to crack Nidia's vault. Gather a team and sit cool till we call you. Be ready to bring enough hands to help haul all the cash. Está bien. I will alert the camaradas. Hostile down. Got it on Bossy. But people who are satisfied being blessed, who don't act bossy. That's a kill. Say the word, boss. Target is dead. Get that quieto. Pinche cabrón. Nitty has been nothing but a thorn in your side and a gun to your head. Give us the access codes to her vault, and Pulpo will make sure she goes away. Pulpo? Chingao. Okay, está bien. The codes are yours. This is Nomad. We've got the access codes. You got rebel forces ready? To make a withdrawal of hundreds of millions of Bolivianos. Of course. Wait for a signal. Nomad out. La reina de belleza, la queen. Hostile down. That's a kill. We rattled somebody's cage. Sicarios are down and you boys are clear. Muchas gracias. We could not have taken the vault without you. Just don't spend it all in one place. Make sure you spread the word that Pulpo helped you get that cash. To fuel the infighting, no? Bueno. You Americans are smarter than you look. Gracias, Yankees. <laughs> Check this out. Nidia buys her makeup online. Does that receipt have a delivery address on it? Why, yes it does. Bet she ordered from a computer at that location. We hacked that machine, we can make it look like she's skimming cash. Good idea. Let's hit it. Deploying drone. Just spotted one with submachine guns. He makes five. That whip's got an alarm. Roger that. Target marked. Say the word. Opening fire. Target down. Coming this way. That's a kill. Here's your office. Take a look at that PC. Snatched off the street like an unattended puppy dog. Now there's some speculation that a rival... Transferred about $50 million from Nidia's accounts to accounts that look like Pulpo's. It's artless, but it'll get the job done. Our little false flag operation has convinced Nidia Flores that Pulpo's robbing her blind. And she's pissed off. She's coming after him, guns blazing. Lucky for Pulpo, his buddy Wagner has been very helpful and gave us Pulpo's cell phone number. 
Where are you tracking him? We think he knows Nidia is after him. He's prepping to leave for Mexico right now. Your team needs to help him get to the airport, so he can talk shit about Nidia to Sueño himself. Copy that. He's history. I got eyes on Pulpo's safe house. Let's just sit tight till he comes out. Here's our guy. Let's move. Buckle up, people. Ready to fight. I'm in. Let's go. Pulpo is clear. Say again, Pulpo is clear. Let's get out of here. Boom. Pulpo made it to Barbechos Airfield and is on his way to Mexico. Excellent. So when you trust Pulpo, so maybe he's in trouble. Looks like Santa Blanca has to start their money laundering operation up all over again. Charlie Mike. Roger that. We'll be in touch. No matter. How. Excuses. We want our fucking money ahora. Nidia will take care of this. Sueño, do we need to make a change here? Nidia has been one of our best people for years. Maybe too many. Maybe she's lost her edge. Over time, I had seen many buchones come and go. When you're king, you learn to lose a few nights. But Nidia Flores was different. I had taken her under my wing from a young age. She was the closest thing I would ever have to a daughter. She was my reina. If I fed her to the wolves, a part of me would die with her. You'll get your money, se lo juro. I guarantee it. Don't make us regret this. Sostén tu palabra. Domen, we're in Bukhara. You know that annoying DJ Perico on Santa Blanca Radio? The activity has narrowed the location of his main broadcasting station to Vicara, so Perico himself should be close. What do we want with him? We need you to use your unique charm to convince DJ Perico to broadcast a Pakatari speech. It's a move that'll both raise the rebels' profile and make the cartel look bad. Persuade, change, and influence, huh? No leads on Perico's 20? We're still looking, but we don't even know what he looks like. Forge for intel. Find him, use him. I'll let you know if we can narrow down the location of the radio station. That's a kill. Tango down. That's it, we're clear. Nothing solid, but I found Perico's former bodyguard, Arturo Ruiz. He now works for the cartel at Pilca, some kind of mine. It seems like there's some kind of bad blood between the two, so he might give up the DJ. If we start shooting, ID your targets, people. We know Perico's ex-bodyguard Ruiz is working at this mine, and we need him alive for questioning. I got eyes on Perico's former bodyguard. Let's talk to him. Target acquired. Ready. Call the shot. He's gone. Tango down. Somebody will kill you. Tranquilo. Yeah. You are Turo Ruiz, DJ Perico's former bodyguard. 
Perico? Man, fuck that guy. That pinche puto shot my dog. He shot your friend? No, man, he shot my dog. Mi perro. Little Paloma never did nothing to no one. Perico Marino. killed your pet? What for? Hijo de su reputa madre, Perico was trying to smoke weed out of an AR-15. Fucking thing went off and got Paloma. Still have nightmares about that. Wake up with the shakes and shit. You want to get back at Perico? Give me his real name. A photo too. Man... Perico's real name is Marco Garcia. I don't have no photo, but I hope you kill that motherfucker. Tranquilo. We went through all that, and all we got was a name as common as Marco Garcia. Ah, uh, the activity will work their magic. Send them the name, and maybe they can zap us back a picture so we can ID the asshole. I found some stuff that mentions the cartel built DJ Perico a house in a village called Todos Santos. Let's see if he's there. Rebels in Santa Blanca. Their Don't lieutenant's run. running away. Some. That's a kill. Engaging. Perico isn't here. Scour up any kind of intel you can. How to run your life. We have given Bolivia the investment and the jobs that have helped you improve your lives. But We've got schematics of some kind. Fractal antenna, maybe. If Perico's using that fractal antenna to broadcast, that drawing might help the activity get a beat on his location. I've got Roger. The target acquired. Say no word. visual on the target. Ready to engage target. I have a shot. Copy. Engage target locked. What the balance is that? They're going to spot you. Charlie, see if you can pick up. Oh, the Paris in Gajina. Rebels in Santa Blanca are throwing lead. We want to get some. Put the hornet's nest. That's a kill. No se me escapa. I found a receipt for the construction of a sound booth. That has to be for Perico's radio station. Let's check out the address. He's history. Stay out of sight. We're closing in on the radio station. Let's see if Perico's on the job. That's a kill. This place is empty. Maybe he ran. Maybe somebody we talked to tipped him off. But he's still broadcasting. Bowman, we're at the station. DJ Perico isn't here, but there's still a broadcast coming through. He's using that station as a relay to boost his signal, and we can't hack in without the encryption key. Use the drone to scan his antennas. Sigan can take incoming data, and we can try to trace his location by triangulating the incoming signal's strength. Roger that. All I understood from that phone call with Bowman was scan the antenna. We just have to keep the drone still till the scanning's done. Getting some awful interference here. Not good. Might be a jammer in the area. You're gonna have to find and destroy that before you can scan Perico's antennas. We're on it. No, no. But thank you for continuing to listen. Chingon, banda! Target acquired. Stay Hostile down. Hostile down. Sniper out there. Target down. Scan complete. Just hope Sigan can trace Perico's location. Perico's using a basic frequency agility program to encrypt the signal to his relay. But to hijack the signal for Pakatari's broadcast, we still need the encryption key. Right. We've got enough data to get you to the area of Perico's location. You need to pay him an unfriendly visit and get his encryption key. Bowman sending through background on DJ Perico. DJ Perico, the parrot. 
His dream in life was to be a mixtape DJ, which essentially means yelling over someone else's song and then charging people for it. DJ Perico! Fortunately for the music industry, life got in the way. Corner boy at age 13, crack charge at 14, attempted murder at 15. Rather than do a bit in a gladiator academy, he fled to Mexico. He had a cousin in Santa Blanca, got a job as a sicario, a hitman. However, if Santa Blanca had run his sheet, they'd have seen he'd only attempted murder. Another way of saying he was a fuck-up. Like he missed two guys in the front seat of a wrangler. I mean, how hard is that? It was only a matter of time before he annoyed the shit out of every single member of the cartel and got his corpse thrown back across the border. Except, El Sueño took a liking to him. Tarico amused him. He can't shoot a gun, but he can shoot his mouth off. So... Good morning, Bolivia! El Sueño found a role for him. Pirate radio. Propaganda. Spread the good word about the coming of Santa Blanca. It's a beautiful day for cocaine! But hey... What day is it? A special shout out to my boys in Pucara province, building El Sueño's final finca. But let's not be in too big a hurry, okay boys? DJ Perico is El Sueño's pet. Let's give him something new to parrot. Newman, my people have discovered a vehicle dispatch for a truck bringing valuable replicas to El Sueño's mausoleum. I know it's not your main task, but it's an opportunity to win your Sueño's pride. Check. If we get the chance, we'll take out the convoy before it reaches Sueño's personal shrine. I got a narco over here. Where you got him? Near the turret. Drone is airborne. Eyes on the makes five. Hostile down. He makes five. Target down. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Frag out. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Target destroyed. I guess Swain would still have a mausoleum without all this stuff, right? I'm sure, but without the bling, it'll just be a bigger casket. Got a location on Perico. Get that little fucker and make him give up his encryption key. We're gonna turn Buchon Radio into Radio Free Bolivia. Get down before they see you. Tango down. Engaging hostiles. Captain. Look at this shit. I've seen a mausoleum or two in my time. This one could eat those for breakfast and not even notice when it shit them out. We're we supposed to think Swainio's a god? He sure as hell does. Here's the antenna. Perico's gotta be close. Remember, we need him alive, people. Hostile down. Hey, eyes on Perico. Ah, hands off! Don't fuck with me! I'm famous! No dispares. No, no dispares. Ah, fuck! At a loss for words, DJ? Uh, hey, 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 look at me! Do I look like a sicario to you? You don't have to kill me, man! Oh, yeah? Why is that? I still got my whole life to live, man. I got dreams to fulfill and shit. Just give us the encryption key to the station's master control. All right, all right, man. Just you didn't get it from me, okay? When prompted for a username, type in B I D I B O M, bitty bomb. Then enter the numbers generated on this token. Savor this moment, Perico. This is the day you almost died. This is the day I spared you. Oh, okay. See, I know you can just change the encryption key. But in exchange for not killing you, you are gonna keep broadcasting and you're gonna wait to change that password until my associate Pat Katari makes his broadcast. You got it? Yeah, yeah, man! Uh -huh. 
Bowman, we've got the encryption key. But I'm not sure we're up for hacking the signal. I know you're not techies. The Rebels gave us the location of one of their comms guys. You have to break him out of a Santa Blanca jail, but we need his expertise. We can't spare a comms guy who isn't locked up. And neither can I. Extract him to an RP, and I'll get him the gear he needs to cut into that broadcast for Pakatari. Roger that. Drone is airborne. Light panels here. Tango number three. He makes five. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Eyes on the prisoner's location. This is a lot of trouble for a rebel comms guy. Chalk it up as a favor to the rebels. We can always use their good graces. Let's just make sure the prisoner's in one piece. history. Good shooting. Let's clean up a move. Didn't expect a dam this big out here. Yeah, the locals use it for irrigation. Seems like overkill. I reckon somebody was optimistic about agriculture in Bolivia. Who the hell are you? Our mutual friend Pakatari sent us. Está bueno. Let's go. Pakatari is mi señor comandante. But I did not think he would call upon Americans just to rescue little me. You have some technical expertise that's pertinent to our current mission. We're gonna hijack DJ Perico's radio signal. No mierda. My wife loves that guy's show. I keep telling her, hey, he's the enemy, caray. She's like, but he's so funny. I can never win with her. Okay, we'll listen to it. Compa, thank you again. This broadcast could be a greater victory than any of us realize. Or it could change nothing. Carajo, don't worry. I will get it done and then we shall see. Adios, pues. Stay tuned to Santa Blanca Radio. If all goes to plan, you'll hear Pakatari's speech before you know it. Who are? Camaradas! We're hearing Pakatari's broadcast all over the country. DJ Perico is already a fool, but now Sueño looks like one too. How do you measure the reactions we get anyway? When they're not busy taking selfies, my social media team monitors online trends. Hashtag DJ Perico is already getting the funniest gifts. Bowman out. Our rebel tech is getting cozy with Bowman. This is a lot of shit to go through just so Pat can give a speech on the radio. I suspect Bowman wants the rebels to feel like this is their op. Shit, they're the ones getting the credit for it anyway. Let's keep moving. Get your team ready to move. There's a popular Bolivian blogger, Ramon Feliz, who's been working for the cartel. He usually writes about Santa Blanca's charity events and shit, but this morning, he broke the news that the cartel was trafficking children. I'll bet that got people angry. The one we have to worry about is Sueño. Find Feliz and get that evidence before the cartel puts him in the ground. Sounds simple enough. Grab everything you can from him. He's bound to have plenty of dirt on the cartel. He lives in Santa Alina. I'll zap you the address. Roger that. Nomad out. A conscience is a dangerous thing, mostly to the person who has one. Ramon Feliz couldn't live with himself. He was moments from taking the coward's way out when... It seems that in spite of his recent allegiance to us, Feliz still had one source who was willing to bring him information. Un chivato. Information I was now aware of, since I had people monitoring his every keystroke. It's a shame, really. If Ramon had known what was on its way, he would have gone through with the suicide. Perico and the cartel are pretending that nothing happened, but that rebel broadcast did a lot to inspire the locals. The word from Pakatari is that people are lining up to join the fight against Santa Blanca. Let's hope it was the right play. I get nervous when any player in the game gets too strong. Afraid the socialists are gonna get too big for their britches? <laughs> He's such a Cold War antique. This is the CIA agent in Latin America. We're moving on. Be in touch soon. Since his rise to power, El Sueño has been responsible for more than 7,000 murders, 
12,000 kidnappings and 17,000 disappearances. So then how the fuck is he one of the most loved people on the goddamn internet? I mean, this piece of shit has more likes than the World Cancer Society. How does that even happen? Well, one reason would be Ramon Feliz, Santa Blanca narco blogger. Feliz wasn't always like this. He used to be a real journalist. Working the crime beat for a Mexican newspaper, he wrote about the cartels. Until the cartels started targeting journalists. Forced to choose between reporting the news and their employees, the newspapers made a hard decision. They stopped reporting on the cartels. So Raymond Feliz went underground. With anonymity on his side, he started a blog, and he went after Santa Blanca. Hard, maybe too hard. Sueño hired hackers from a number of top universities and had them track down Feliz. Things only went downhill from there. Nowadays, Ramon Feliz no longer writes about Santa Blanca. Ramon Feliz writes for Santa Blanca. Feliz's house is just up ahead. Let's haul ass before the cartel gets to him. Savages. His data should be somewhere around here. Heads up, got an Unidad patrol approaching. <laughs> Shit, the hard drive is missing. Bowman, Feliz is dead and his hard drive's gone. The murder made quite a goddamn mess, didn't he? How the hell do you know that? Because the moron just tweeted a selfie of himself at the scene. He geotagged the photo in the tweet. Sending you the location. Get there fast and see if you can recover Felice's hard drive before it's destroyed. On our way. Good eyes on our killer. We need that hard drive. Take him alive. Easy. Come in. That LT's getting away. Well, that was messy as shit. Got you, you sick fuck. What are you talking about? I didn't do nothing. You took a selfie with your victim, you idiot. You saw that? Fucking badass, right? You think that was badass? What do you see what I do to you? Hint, it involves a wire hanger and a whole lot of electricity. Chingado, man. What do you want? Ramon Feliz's hard drive. Now. That shit? Man, I already dropped it off for those hacker nerds. Not far from here. Let's grab that hard drive fast before Santa Blanca wipes it. Deploying drone. Target down. Eyes on the target. Standing by. Engaging hostiles. Bowman, you've secured Felice's hard drive. Good work. It's intact? Affirmative. We plugged the key into it and are uploading the data to you now. Excellent. According to Felice's blog, Santa Blanca is snatching Bolivian children and sending them to Brazil, Argentina, and Mexico as slave labor. Now we can make his proof public. Nobody sympathizes with child traffickers, not even drug traffickers. Bowman, we're crossing into Malca province. Any intel on the area? Oh shit, you should be near El Chido. Is that bad or? The biggest name in Narco Corrido, music that sings the praises of drug traffickers. Can't see I know his stuff. Well, you should. He's the public face of the enemy, the propaganda and recruiting machine with a voice like Velvet. His fans are so nuts for him this past August, when he refused to go on stage in Anaheim because of some pay dispute. The audience rioted, wrecked the venue. So he's got influence. Find out everything you can about El Chido's visit so he can ruin it. He'll probably be keeping a low profile, but you can bet his agent will be making the rounds, looking for any way to make this trip profitable. Got it. We'll focus on finding that agent. If you don't listen to Narco Corridos, you're a pussy and you're off my Christmas list. 
Narco Corrido is like gangster rap for the 21st century. The talk is tough, the music is banned, and the swagger is the show. This sexy motherfucker is El Chido, by far the number one Corrido performer in the world. His record sales rake in millions of dollars every year. Were he not so close to Santa Blanca, I'd be having his babies. As it stands, this suave slab of macho writes and sings the Corridos that tell the tales of Santa Blanca's buchones from Bolivia to Culiacan. El Chido, real name Marcelo Rios, is not a bad guy. He just sings like one. He's also in tight with all the villains in Santa Blanca. The cartel's church of Santa Muerte is sponsoring a kind of publicity tour and a concert in Malca. El Chido's supposed to boost morale and spread Santa Blanca's good word. This is an opportunity to nab an outsider with an inside track who's got everything to lose. We get El Chido to roll on his buddies. Prosecutors in nearly every country of the Western Hemisphere will sing our praises. Snatch and grab, but be gentle. And please, don't touch that handsome face. We got back, guys. The drone is up. Say the word. Got it. Target down. I got mentions of a meeting between El Chido's agent and Santa Blanca lieutenants. There's no location on the meeting, but... Wait. We've got an address for the hotel where the assistant to the agent checked in for the night. Assistant to the agent? These showbiz types sure like to bring an entourage. It makes him feel important. Whatever. Let's find this assistant. Chances are he'll lead us to his boss. Whoa. Deploying drone. I got eyes on a guy who looks like the assistant to El Chido's agent. What's our play? Snatching him might send up red flags to his boss. An old-fashioned tale. We see what he does and who he sees. Stay out of sight. If he makes us, we got nothing. Hold on. Looks like the assistant's stopping in this big building. The agent might be meeting his cartel contact here. We gotta hear that conversation. Think we'll have enough room to maneuver in there? We'll send in a drone and record the meet. I don't want to risk getting made. I've got eyes on the captain. Here's target number five. Fuck my jacket, Pendejo. Let's cut the bullshit. Hey, tranquilo, wey. We're all friends here. Malo. Come on, man, Pinguado. But I trust you should be stacked as three guitars. As much as I trust my chihuahua with a hand grenade. In my abuelo's time, your dead body will not be allowed in a Catholic cemetery. You want the chido? You have to pay for me. I mean, seriously. Poster... We got what we need. Let's move. Let's get back on mission. Bowman, we tracked El Chido's agent to a meeting with Santa Blanca. The cartel people were really big on him spreading his promotional materials. There's a promo truck that'll be making the rounds of this part of Bolivia. El Chido's a big deal for their influence. That truck will just spread cartel propaganda. So we take out the promo truck. Holt loves blowing shit up. We can't just blow up the truck. There's gotta be a warehouse stocking more promo materials. We swap out the truck for one loaded with C4. I'll have Pacatari's people come up with a copy of the promo truck. When that truck goes back to the warehouse full of promotional material, that's when we blow it. Sounds high risk. You already have a truck? I'll get what we need. You just need to get the truck. And keep your nose to the ground to see what else we can do to undermine the cartel's influence in the province. Got it. We'll get your truck. Deploying drone. Got another tango. Target acquired. Standing by. Copy. Target marked. He's down. Expect the woman to be this is the hangover the truck is parked. 
Let's keep our heads down and steal it before the cartel finds out we're crashing their little party. I got eyes on the promo truck. Bowman wants us to steal it and swap it out for one that will detonate upon delivery. Goal is to destroy the warehouse that holds his promo materials. Stay out of sight and let's get this done fast. Amada Santa Muerte, bendícenos. Engage. Es el cardenal, with an important message. Tengan cuidado. Copy. You would not breathe what you have sown. You would be left with barely anything. The best way. He's history. The only que así sea. Look at all this. I'm gonna take a couple of these CDs. You can buy his MP3s online. This is free. Worry about the music later. Time is a factor, people. Let's just get to the RV and get back with the other truck before anybody's the wiser. Mamacita de mi vida! La reina de belleza! The beauty queen! Welcome to the show! Hurry up. Let's switch out trucks and start heading back. ¿Qué pasa, güey? ¿Andan enterado, pues? Que rollo, amigo. You got a truck to swap out? Uh... Your Spanish sounds almost as bad as your English. Here's your truck. All that C4 is primed, and our bomb makers were all trained by communists. So take it slow on those curbs. Shit. You want to drive it? No fucking way. I beat myself a bit just driving it here. Good luck, junkie. Imagine. Buckle up, people. It is a working ahead, prototype. And within weeks, we Let's may have roll. these submersibles exporting our product to Mexico and... How long have we been gone? We should be good on time. And seeing how we've traded a truck full of CDs for a truck full of C4, I prefer that we take it easy on those terms. Didn't your recruiter tell you you'd be racing through the countryside in a truck full of explosives? Well done, people. We traded out the trucks and didn't get blown up in the process. I call that mission accomplished. In position, got target tango. marked. Just say the word. I got a third. Roger that. Target marked. marked. Fire, fire, fire. fire. Put him in the box. Open fire. Looks like El Chido is giving a small concert in this village called Uma Marca. Bowman, we found out your boy El Chido is giving a concert at a venue in Uma Marca. They're calling the show Pachangon Boliviano. If only I could go. Que sera, as they say. We have to make sure that concert doesn't happen. Get to that venue, do what you can to shut it down. Anything particular in mind? Just make sure the music won't happen and make sure it's something people will notice. I'll be in touch. We got the concert venue up ahead. Let's see what we can do to make it impossible for El Chido to play here. Want to burn it down? Whoa there, Firebug. Let's find something a little more subtle, yeah? Oh. Boom, target down. That's it for the speakers. Not for nothing, but the venue can always buy new speakers. But El Chido can't buy a new pair of balls. He hears about the bombing, he runs home, tail between his legs.
This document gives the route and the schedule of the convoy that's delivering El Cheeto's car here in Bolivia. Let's move. Fire. Opening fire on these fuckers. Roger. <laughs> Escort guard. Ready. Hold the shot. Escort car has been destroyed. This is a fucking classic. I can see why El Cheeto had it shipped down here with him. The number of cars and trucks we've been stealing. Boba must have a huge garage like that somewhere in country. Maybe she'll let us borrow a pickup truck. Let's head out. One of Bowman's people will pick up the car. I still feel guilty stealing the man's car. I mean, kidnapping him is one thing, but stealing a guy's car? That's next level shit. Nice job, Nomad. A couple of explosions and El Cheeto shitting bricks. He's scared he's being targeted by a rival cartel, so they move the concert to a new venue. What are we talking? We're talking the highest fucking peak in Malta. Visitors to this heavily defended mountaintop will enjoy its beautiful views, a big-ass statue of Santa Muerte, and the fact that it only has one access road. That's one way to handle security. You want us to extract him, we grab him as he's leaving. Too risky. El Chido's gonna DD Mal back to Mexico as soon as the show's over. I'm guessing the best window of opportunity, and window is during his concert. Fuck. All right. We'll get tickets to the show and we'll see if we can't take El Cheeto with us when we leave. The drone is up. Got another tango. I've got eyes on the captain. The target. Good to go. Target down. I'm shooting these fuckers. That's a kill. Hostile down. I'm engaging takeoff. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. Looks like we've rounded them up. The lieutenant's trying to escape. Get back to business. Are you really talking to me like this? You take me from my show, from my fans, you make me walk. And now you abuse me like this? Get the la verga way. El sueño will stick a bazooka up your ass and just leave it there. He won't even shoot it. He'll leave it there because it's uncomfortable for you. We talk a lot about sueño, man, but he ain't here. It's just us. We own you now, baby. <laughs> Nobody fucking owns me. I'm El Chido. Yeah, we got your name, pal. Caballero. Such a pleasure to meet you. Would you like a drink? Is this an arrest? Welcome, because I have not broken any laws. O sea, I perform fiesta songs that are an honest reflection of uh, the lives of working class Mexicanos. I read that review. Sueño paid for it. That doesn't mean it's not true. I love the new video for La Plebe Ada Antorada, by the way. And the DJ El Paso remix is pretty fucking awesome. No mames! You're a fan! Which song is your favorite? I'll sing it for you in serio! Then get me the hell out of here! Abusamos de la Medicina is probably my favorite, but your song, Buchones Heridos, the one where the narco gets gunned down in the street, that's the one we'll play at your funeral. Yes, I know, right? Espérate, what did you say? I know you're not a cutthroat like these other assholes. You're no Sicario. Did he shoot at you? No, he's an angel. Not even an unkind word out of this guy. You're just a performer singing about the Mexican working class experience. 
Santa Blanca forced you, against your will, to come to Bolivia. That's right, they forced me. I, I didn't want to come here. Bolivia! <laughs> I can protect you. I can keep that buttery voice out of any nasty CIA black sites. I can keep all the cartels away. I can even get you your car back. But you're gonna have to sing. You need to tell me everything you know about everybody in Santa Blanca. You better get a pen and a whole lot of paper. Oh, you have made me a very happy lady. It's a little scary how happy you are. You know that snatching El Cheeto and stealing his car won't stop the music. Nothing stopping that music. But El Cheeto is going to inform on every Santa Blanca lieutenant who's ever asked him for an autograph. Once word he's a snitch gets around, and it will get around, his street cred and Santa Blanca's are going to be in the shitter. This is really an historic moment in Corrito music. I'm fucking proud of you. We might be the first operators to make music history since Ballad of the Green Berets. <laughs> as long as you don't start singing. Forgive me, Padre, for I have sinned. Speak the secrets of your soul, my son. Padre, I have lost the love of the people. I thought it was enough that they feared me. I was wrong. Me equivoqué. To win, I needed their love. Why don't they love you, hijo? Because you have not made them love you. You must hold charity events. Gracias, patron. Mother's Day and the Day of the Children. You must provide hospitals, schools, everything the people need. Es tu gente. Because the Bible tells us, By his work shall you know him. Bowman, this is Nomad. What have you got on San Mateo? San Mateo. Over the past few years, a lot of people have been disappearing from that province. Politicians, rebel sympathizers. Anyone who's making life hard for the cartel. Anybody who ain't the cartel, period. We're talking hundreds of individuals, gone without a trace. Santa Blanca is definitely behind the disappearances, but no bodies have ever been found. Find out what happened to these people. Their families need a place to start looking. Then make sure this shit stops happening. Understood. Target down. Copy. Target marked. I don't have a shot. Huh? That's it, we're clear. Got a reference here to a large cartel prison at a village called Rosario. They keep a lot of rebel sympathizers there. Even the sloppiest prisons keep records. Yeah. The warden's office might have intel on some of these people who disappeared. Let's check it out. I'll be damned. The cartel just put up a wall and turned the whole village into a prison. What's the play? Same as before. Get inside, find the warden's office, search for intel on the missing people. There have to be answers behind those walls. Let's move. Ready. Call the shot. Lost the target. Dropped him. Ready to fire. Target down. Tango's heard the blast. They're looking for trouble. Tango down. That morra doesn't feel true. They're coming right for us. That's a kill. That it will become the truth. Clear over here. We got a PC over here. If there's a record of the prison's inmates, it's here. No time to be choosy. We'll download every document. Download started. Stay alert, people. Download complete. Let's exfil and get the data to Bowman. Hopefully there's something here we can use. Deploying drone. Enemy marked. I'm spotting another tango. Tango number three. That's a kill. Watch your fire. We don't want to hit any civilians. Uh, 
That's a kill. Looks like the cartel's keeping high-value prisoners at a place called La Carcel del Pueblo. That's up in the hills. If these prisoners are important enough, they might know something about the people who disappeared. Spotted one with submachine guns. Chances are, with this size operation, the jail cells unlock automatically when the power goes out. So we take out the Jenny. We gotta find it first. Come on. Hostile down. Target down. That's a kill. He's history. Jenny's down. Those cell doors must be unlocked. Let's talk to one of these prisoners. See what we can find out about the disappearances. Hey, I need your help with something. We've been trying to figure out what happens to the people who disappear in San Mateo. What happens to them is El Pozolero. Stew maker? But what does he do with the bodies? Where are they? He takes the corpses and stuffs them into oil drums, then covers them with lejia. What's the English? Lye. Caustic soda. Si. Sosa caustica. Within a few days, the bodies in the oil drums well. There are no bodies left to find. So now we've got a name, we need more info on El Pozolero. A way to go after him. He's the only one who can lead us to any of the remains. Okay, we're still good. Your LT's trying to run. Holding fire on these shitheads. Hostile down. That's a kill. According to this, a journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo. She's caused enough trouble that the cartel is going to make her disappear next. We've got her 20. Let's get to her before the Sicarios do. We're coming up on the journalist's last known location. Let's track her down and find out what she knows about the missing people. We gotta figure the cartels around, looking for her too. Hola, camaradas. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to her base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. You need to get to Vera. Whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. And then, hermanos. The new struggle against the legislation and the stigma against our ancient tradition is the Santa Blanca cartel. They already employ many. He's history. And many of our kids. Todo bien. Santa Blanca is Bolivia's partner. Hostile down. Got the target. Taking a shot. Clear. Sáquenme de aquí. No quiero que nos escuchen, pero sepa que usted es mi hermano para siempre. Gracias. Fucking hell, it's good to be free. You the journalist? Me llamo Lupe Vera, but I don't know if I'll stay with journalism after this shit. To whom do I owe my rescue? We're working with Pakatari. We need any info you got on the people who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. It's not just San Mateo, you know? People are being taken from all over Bolivia, not just by the cartel. Unidad is also involved. Some officers torture and murder innocents. And then, 
send the evidence here to be destroyed. Santa Blanca kills people all the time and leaves the bodies behind. No one cares if a sicario from a rival cartel dies. They kill a policeman? That's just the war on drugs. But the missing people? Los desaparecidos? That includes every priest or journalist who said a bad word against the cartel. Every student, bus driver, laundry woman, anyone they think the hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. We need to put a stop to it. Hey, ¿qué pasa? It's not hard to guess that los desaparecidos, the disappeared, have all been murdered. I've got notes in some truck the cartel uses to pick up the bodies. It's supposed to have a regular route like a fucking garbage service. That's it? What about its route, its schedule? Nothing specific. Oye, oh, amigo, this was hard enough to get as it is. I just know that the truck's last stop is a place where the cartel gets rid of the bodies. What about my story? There are dozens of families, hundreds, who need answers to what happened to their loved ones. When we get answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios. And gracias. I'm go You should find that truck. Nomad, I've gone through those files you snagged in Rosario. There's nothing on the missing people in there. Is there anything on El Pozolero? We've got a description of the truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside, and anybody put in the back just vanishes. Well, it isn't supernatural. Here, the Rosario's files have info on the truck's route. I'm sending it to you now. Get your mitts on the driver and make him tell you his final destination. That's where all the remains will be. Got it. Engaging hostile. Easy. Come on. Uh, I'm unarmed! I'm unarmed! Okay, you okay, El okay. For serious? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not that Diablo. I, I just drive the truck, wait. Nada más. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name's Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you want me to tell you where he is? Motherfucker, tell me where El Pozolero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. All right, I'll tell you where he is. But oh, no, we should never found out. Okay. Bowman, this is Nomad. The driver gave us El Pozolero's real name, Raul Murillo. He also gave up Pozolero's location. Outstanding. I'll run Murillo's name and send you whatever background I can find. This one's weird, Bowman. These cartel goons are staying away from El Pozolero like he's got the plague. That might be why there's such little chatter about him. Be careful. There's a lot of unknowns here. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on these missing people. Just got a file transfer from Bowman. Looks like she was able to dig up some background on El Pozolero. When I was a kid, we used to live over the train tracks. Every time a train went past, I would run into my mother's bed, and she'd assure me there was no such thing as monsters. She was such a liar. El Pozolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. The first thing El Pozolero does is place the bodies inside a barrel, which he fills with caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, then covers the drums, stirring occasionally. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. He pours this into a pit. Any leftover teeth or bone fragments, he smashes into dust. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. Their families have no idea if their loved ones are alive or dead. They can't have proper burials. They can't have closure. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozolero, the monster who melted them. We got no idea what we're walking into. I'm getting like tense, you know? Kind of like a little nervous. Like Bowman said, there are a lot of variables in play. There aren't a lot of variables. We just don't know what they are, so we're taking everything into account. We need a covert way in. I want to see El Pozolero before he sees us. Sorry about this, brother, but I gotta have the car. Out. Coming up on the cartel base now. Let's go find El Pozolero.
Tango down. Lost my target. That's a kill. He's history. Sniper out there. Target down. I got eyes on El Pozolero. Remember, we need him alive. Okay, throwing a flashbang. We rattled somebody's Man of Sariba, let me see those hands. Hola, senores. You're taller than the usual delivery people. If we're staying overnight, I should probably have me also. Your bear? Like a teddy bear? Oh, it's not what you think. I'm not overly afraid of the dark, but Pepito will think I'm cheating on him. Nidia Flores once gave me a jirafa azul, and Pepito said the nastiest things to him. I had to spank him. Pepito, that is, not the giraffe. Is this guy for real, or is he fucking with us? I think he's fucking for real. Something kept his mind from growing up the whole way. Do all Americans curse as much as you do? I'm supposed to wash away an American this week, but he hasn't arrived yet. Not that it would matter to me if he cursed much or not. I just do my job. I don't judge other people. Wash away an American? You mean put this American in a barrel and cover him with lie? Claro que sí. Some of the other men with guns, they call me El Pozolero, the stoolmaker. But I don't make stew. I, I don't even need stew. You just dissolve bodies in barrels of blood. I bury them too. Sometimes. Why are you looking at me like that? It's not like I kill these people. Pepito would never let me do that. Why wouldn't he? Because it's not part of my job, of course. Are you sure we can go back for Pepito? I'm sure. Don't worry. We'll let them know there weren't any giraffes or any other animals. Gracias. No doubt he'll still pout about being left behind, but if you say it can be helped, then I suppose it can be helped. Mierda. Ahora sí ya valió. Inigo Morales. District Court Judge, disappeared on his way home from work. Octavio Rodriguez, student activist. Kidnapped by a gang of armed men outside a local bar, never seen again. Mirabel Castro, school teacher, last seen at an Unidad checkpoint in Santa Cruz. I remember her. She had beautiful skin, like an angel. There's a thousand more like them in this stack, you son of a bitch, and that's just this year. Every one of them had a family people out of their minds with grief because their loved ones are gone. But they were dead. What else could I do? Midas thinks he's got the mind of a child. Probably has no idea what you're talking about. Well, he better have a fucking photographic memory. I want the names of every single person you put in one of those drums. I don't care how long it takes. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Then you will take me back, verdad? I must get back to work. I can handle stupid and I can handle grim, but I sure don't like seeing them in one package. He's not exactly stupid. He's emotionally underdeveloped. He didn't learn the proper way to react to the dead. Like his brain broke? He's disassociating. Exactly. I, for one, am not going to let my kids burn ants anymore. Big news. Sueño told El Muro to take out La Plaga, but instead of killing his kid brother, El Muro's trying to sneak him out of the country. So Sueño's right-hand man is turning against him. Even better. We know where La Plaga is. Let's wrap this up. I'm tired of execution videos. This will be our pleasure. Ignacio Perez Cervantes, also known as La Plaga, the Plague. Head of security for Santa Blanca and the little brother of El Muro. El Muro had him trained well. Paid off guys in Russia's Bodark Special Forces group to teach him combat tactics. Sent him to learn killing techniques from death squads in El Salvador and Honduras. Apparently, he was a good student. His favorite subject? Cutting off a person's face, then showing it to them. Back in the day, it used to be that the criminals hid, and the good guys tried to find them. But La Plaga 
He does everything he possibly can to be seen. The guy is a social media machine. He pays narco corrido bands to write songs about him. He has his own personal camera crew. This fuck even has his own YouTube channel. La Plaga is a walking recruitment message. Young people see what he has and want it. The guys want to join him. The girls want to get wifed up. It'd almost be funny to see a guy who spends three hours a day sending dick pics. Except half of what he posts aren't messages to his followers, but messages to his enemies. There's only one way to stop the plague from spreading. You cut it off from society, then watch it die out. Here's his house. The Plaga's making a run for it. We kill him now so we don't have to kill him later. Move quickly, but don't rush. Target eliminated. He's down. Tango down. They're gonna spot you. We poked the hornet's nest. <coughs> Fuck is that? Weed smoke? It smells more like crack rock. Say what you will about La Plaga. Dude knows how to throw a going away party. Contact inside the Hacienda. Got eyes on La Plaga. Let's take him down. Damn. This is DJ Betty. Go with the new The lieutenant's on the run. They're shooting old ladies out there. Found a tunnel. I'm hearing engine noise. Clear on my side. Go ahead, I'll catch up. We're not letting this fucker escape, hear me? The tunnel's running out. The Plaga's got nowhere left to run. We start taking fire, you put him down first chance you get. Opening fire. Plug it down. Repeat, the plague is dead. It's only a matter of time before El Moro finds out his little brother's gone. Hopefully we can deliver the news in person. Major General Barro is a patriot. He runs UNIDAD, the Bolivian military police force from main operating base Jaguar in Flor de Oro. When Santa Blanca first arrived in Bolivia, they went to war with UNIDAD. Innocent civilians got caught in the crossfire. The death toll was tremendous. Barro had seen a lot of death in his life and was desperate to bring peace back to his country. So he brokered a backroom deal between El Sueño and the Bolivian government. Unidad agreed to look the other way and let Santa Blanca run their business. In exchange, the cartel promised to keep their killings to a minimum. Obviously, the results have been a mixed bag. The relationship between Santa Blanca and Unidad is tense. Now that Bolivia has become a full-fledged narco-state, I believe that he is starting to regret his decision. Major General Barro is either one of our most dangerous enemies, or our greatest ally. There's only one way to find out which. Unidad's darkest secrets are hidden on a server at Mob Jaguar. Infiltrate the base, hack the server, and get me those files. I'm gonna turn these assholes inside out. Coming up on Unidad's main operating base. I'm seeing rail lines coming in and out. Watchtowers, warehouses. Is that a heliport? If Bowman's intel is up to snuff, the data center's somewhere underground. Let's go find the basement. That's a kill. Tango down. Data center may be down here. Let's see where this tunnel leads us. Target down. Here's 
use the terminal with access to the main system. I'm in. Pull security while I upload all these files to Bowman. There's a shit ton of data here. Data transferring. Maintain the perimeter. Yo. Find some cover, fast! Good. Bowman's got everything worth getting. Let's go. Opening fire. We pulled some interesting intel from that data hack. What have we got? General Barrow's former aide is in jail. Turns out he knew a little too much about Unidad's dirty laundry, so Barrow locked him up. You set him free. He might feel like sharing some secrets he has on his old boss. That dog will hunt. We also found information that assets we have placed within Unidad may be exposed. Somehow, some Santa Blanca mook found out who they are, and he's planning to name them to a Unidad captain named Iglesia. You have to silence this cartel informer. We got a location on the target? Negative, but we have a location on the Unidad captain. Find him, tail him to his meet with the Santa Blanca informer, then take out the informer. Roger that. Let us know if you pull anything else from that data hack. Barrow's former aide is being held in an Unidad stockade. Break him out and find out what he can tell us about Barrow's current location. Overthrowing the government. What's that? The government the drone is up. Has made guns Sniper, top of the tower. Copy. Target marked. Ready to engage. That tango's down. Do better with more money, you know. Man, you broke ass bitch! Did you call DJ Perico to ask for money? Puta madre! Don't bother DJ Perico with your fucking problem! You need money? Go suck a cock! Damn! Uh, target down. Uh. That's a kill. This is your man in the know? He is no the ¿Cuándo se largará este maldito calor, hijo puta? Hostile down. This should be our guy. Let's see what he knows. ¿Qué carajo, pues? What the fuck is going on here? Who the fuck are you? We're your best chance of stopping these motherfuckers. I'm looking for General Barrow. Mierda. I used to be on that pendejo staff. He came to my birthday party once, but he's a cocksucker now. Where do we find him? No sé. I don't know where he is. But he has a daughter, the only family that viejo has left. She's a government paper pusher in some speck of a village in Flor de Oro. What the hell name does she use? Ah, Erendira. Erendira Buendia. You can use her to get to General Baru. Gracias. Good luck. Bowman. That former Unidad captain told us that General Baro has a daughter who goes by the name Erendira Buendia. She's living in a village in Flor de Oro, working as a civil servant. I've got the activity working on it now. Get a hold of the daughter. We can use her to urge General Baro to meet with us. She's a civilian, Bowman. We've got her cell phone. I'm sending you the data now. You'll be able to track her yourselves. Go get her, then get her father the general. Solid copy. I'm not sure Bowman understands who we are, asking us to use an innocent woman as leverage. Yeah, she's one of those handlers who thinks we just do wet work. To be clear, we are not harming this woman unless she tries to kill one of us. Roger that. 
I got this theory that General Barrow is more lazy than corrupt. I'm scared, you mean? He only takes the money because he got the Plata Plomo deal. Take the money or take the bullets. It's hard to get a read on the situation. Those bullets weren't just for him. They were for everybody living in Bolivia. And I'm not gonna judge him. Keep an eye out. General's daughter should be around. There she is. Keep in mind she's our only lead. We need her. And if she don't want to help? Like I said, she's our only lead. Erendira, buen día. We're looking for General Barrow. Lo siento. Mire, I cannot help you. You can and you will. We know the General is your father. We only want to meet him. ¿Qué? Why should I believe you? Because you don't have a choice. You think the cartel Sicarios are bad? We are the people they have nightmares about. Papa? Some gringos have found me. Americanos. I am not hurt. They say they only want to meet. No! I do not trust them. He says you are malos, peligrosos, but he has given me a location. Saddle up. We need General Barrow alive, but I don't expect him to be friendly. I want to get to that RV first. Check your targets. We got civilians in the area. Drone is airborne. We got a grunt all by his lonesome, near the truck. Ambush! General fucked us over! Get him! Get that vale, quieto. Pendejos. Our good general knows when to surrender. Didn't have to go down this way. Of course it did, cabron. You threatened my daughter. My only regret is that I did not bring more soldiers. Sir, we've come to you because we need your help. This is not how one asks for help in Bolivia. This isn't the normal kind of help we're asking. We're working with the rebels. We want to take down the Santa Blanca cartel. You can't be happy with how they're treating your country. Do they treat it any worse than the Americans? Sir, your daughter's safe. Whether or not you help us, you are coming with us. My daughter, she's nothing like me. She's kind where I am coarse. She thinks with her heart. I could never understand that. I'm not sure we're supposed to understand our children. We just hope they learn from our mistakes. She's a shame of me, no? A shame of me and my mistakes. She could have hidden from my enemies in England, in España. Instead, she stays in Bolivia, teaching in a poor school in a dangerous area. She's trying to serve my penance for me. You're no angel, sir. But I think your daughter's the kind of girl who does what she wants for her own reasons. Why else would she do such a thing? She could have lived a life of comfort, in peace. Maybe she loves her country too much to leave it. See, si, perhaps. Perhaps she's too much like me. It is not so good to be too patriotic. Approaching extraction point. Keep your eyes open. Bastardo, these were good men! I was in La Paz trying to speak to the president when you had my daughter call me. I have known for some time that our relationship with Santa Blanca is untainable, but I could not convince the bureaucrats there of our situation. They wouldn't let you speak with the president. No! And I fear that I revealed my intentions to men and women who are already in the pocket of Sueño. But today, corruption is the Bolivian way of life. I've been trading too many shots with Unidad to feel any sympathy, sir. I had wanted order when I made peace with Santa Blanca. But it is an order fueled by corruption and violence against our citizens. That is my responsibility, and I will help make it right. It's an uphill battle. But if you don't want any more violence for Bolivia, for your daughter, we have to shut this down proper. I may have a few loyal officers who are willing to see things my way. Also, I have a friend, a colonel in the regular army. He may be able to help. But all of this is going to take time. Then let's start now. El 
Shimura was going to try to kill me, just as I was going to kill him. Black is for vengeance. White is for safety. Gold is for success. Ahora, I ask you, how can any saint grant contradictory prayers from two different men? It has been my experience that gods always side with the man who has the most money, the most men, and the most power. I had lost the one man I could always trust, mi hermano. How many men would be more loyal to him than to me? How much power would he take? Would that be enough for him to take me out? I would always have an advantage, though. I grew up with the man. I knew how his mind worked. I knew his next move before he did. I just had to be patient. drone. Confirming target as La Unidad contact. It's gonna lead us to the Santa Blanca informer. Let's keep us clean and by the numbers. Diga, you have something good this time. That last chip was mierda. Yankee spies in La Unidad? How many? Listo, listo. $10,000. No, I can't meet there. Meet me at the shack in the mountains. Bueno. I wonder how many assets Bowman has out here. Hell, if they're playing on our team, I'm not gonna complain when we gotta go save them. True. We find the Unidad captain and kill the cartel informer he meets with. Hostile down. I got eyes on the Santa Blanca informer. Let's take him out. Stop that captain from running. <laughs> Fucking hell. Twice to cover fast. Tango down, tango down. The cartel informer is dead. Our knocks and Launi Dad are safe. Nomad, this is Bowman. Beautiful work in Flor de Oro. With General Barro turning against the cartel and our own assets protected, shit is gonna get tough for corrupted officers inside Unidad. And for the Santa Blanca friends. Hell yeah. With Barrow and his military contacts on our side, you can expect Unidad patrols to get a lot less lenient with cartel members. Way to build tension. Exactly. And give our rebel friends more room to operate. They will be moving on to rougher terrain. I'll be in touch. Nomad out. Bowman, we're boots down in Romanzo. What have you got for us? Romanzo is a primary smuggling node for the cartel. They're using cutting-edge techniques to move product over the border, and security is tight. You'll have to gather intel on the network as you go and find ways to disrupt it. What do we know about the asshole in charge? The Buchan's name is El Gato. Fair warning, he's got a reputation for being unkillable. He obviously hasn't met us yet. Got any background on him? I'll put together what we've got and send it to you shortly. Copy that. Got any leads for us? Just one. An unconfirmed report that Elgato set up one of his chemists with a special lab inside a Santa Blanca church. A church? I'm sending you the location now. You'll understand once you get there. Your average cat, the four-legged variety, has nine lives. Elgato has had a lot more than that. He's been shot, stabbed, garroted, blown up, burned, thrown off a building, run over by a car, half drowned. But he always comes back. He carries a locket with his father's ashes in it around his neck. Snorts it when he needs strength. Says it's better than coke. It's the real power that comes from death. A packaging manager in Romanzo province, he's been working for Santa Blanca since he was 16. His father was the plastic surgeon to the stars, movie stars, and star narcos. But then, his father had a big narco boss on the table and lost him. They both knew what that meant. A long death by torture. 
Elgato loved his father. So he decided not to let that happen. Sniper out there. Here we go. This gotta be the lab. Let's sweep the place and grab this chemist Bowman's after. Watch those chemical stockpiles. You put a round in one of those and shit's gonna get real unpleasant. Copy that. That's a kill. Yo, we got a cartel LT. Front of the HQ building. Target down. Eyes on the target. Target's marked. Just say the word. Roger. Target acquired. Ready to fire. Damn, that guy's dead. Their LT's trying to run. They're on to us. Watch out. Bowman, you got anything on the cartel hey. smuggling cocaine in an energy drink called Electro? That matches some of the rumors I've heard. Cartel supposedly developed a kind of liquid cocaine. Odorless, colorless, hard to detect with chemical sensors. So they hide it in the drinks and then extract it once it's delivered. Damn. We need to shut this place down. Get inside the plant and blow the liquid storage tanks. That should be the trick. We're on it. Coming up on the rally point. Let's get this done. No these Ya, ya pues, ya pues, ya estuvo bueno, ya estuvo bueno. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm just a chemist. It's okay. I get it. The cartel told you that if you were ever arrested, just tell the cops you're an employee of the factory, you work on energy drinks, and sooner or later someone will show up to bail you out. Am I right? Let me clarify the situation for you. We're not the cops. No one is coming to bail you out. You have exactly two choices. Either start giving up the formula, or start giving up your fingers. You're a smart guy. What'll it be? some cartel activity around the clinic. Since when do they give a shit about sick people? Got nothing to do with helping the sick. They're probably using the place to pack drug mules. Let's check with Bowman. See if she's got any intel on the site. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've got intel on a site where the cartel's turning locals into drug mules. We've known for a while that El Gato's been running mules out of Romanzo. He's got a handful of doctors that perform the procedure, implanting balloons of cocaine in different places on a person's body. Up to now, the place has been hard to pin down because it shifts locations every couple of months. What's the play here? We raid this place, won't they just relocate? Not if you kill the fucking doc. Seriously? Look, we're not talking Florence Nightingale here. They take desperate people and make them swallow anywhere from three to five kilos of cocaine. Sometimes they implant the balloon surgically to hide even more. Trust me, you'll be saving lives by killing these sick fucks. Understood. We'll get it done. Coming up on the objective now. Get ready. They perform surgery on people in that nasty ass place. Seriously? The docs are give zero fucks about the patients. They're only worried about moving the product. Let's give them something else to worry about. Sweep the building, find the docs, and take them out. You won't ever be the fucking boss. He's history. We're cool. We're cool. Target marked. Weapons free, Enemy weapons down. free. Boom, target down. Target down. 
Spoke the hornet's nest. Any of you ever heard of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? You mean the old movie? That was based on a true story. They were outlaws in the last days of the Old West. When things got too hot for them in the States, they left for South America. Eventually, they wound up here in Bolivia, where they robbed the payroll of the Aramaya silver mine. Their luck ran out a few days later when the Bolivian army caught up to them in a town called San Vicente. There was a standoff, and Cassidy and the kid went out in a hail of gunfire. That's a hell of a story. I know, right? For the record, I'm not helping you rob any silver mines. Come on, Sundance, where's your sense of adventure? There's the energy drink plant. We get inside, blow the tanks containing the liquid cocaine, and then get the hell out of Dodge. Copy that. That's a kill. That's a kill. That's a kill. Demo's primed and in place. Engaging hostiles. I got the C4 primed. Target's destroyed. Let's move. Sure we can't grab a couple bottles on the way out? I don't know about you, but I can use a little pick-me-up. Those bottles are made for smuggling, not drinking, dumbass. How much liquid cocaine you figure are in those bottles, Holt? Enough to melt your face off or just make your heart explode? Actually, you know what? I'm good. Target down. Shipping manifest from the quinoa processing plant. What's the cartel want with boxes of quinoa? Holt, what's your take on the cartel using the quinoa processing plant to smuggle coke? That sound right to you? Drug smugglers have tried that shit plenty of times in the past, but never on this kind of scale. Here, the cartel can get the cocaine into the boxes as they come off the plant's assembly line. The inner bags get an airtight seal, and the quinoa helps conceal the scent from drug-sniffing dogs. Pretty fucking devious, you ask me. Then the plant's a legitimate target. Let's get after it. That's the quinoa plant. If we get in there and take out the assembly line, we can shut down the whole place. Demo's primed. Demo's primed and in place. Find the exfil before cartel reinforcements arrive. It's Bowman. We intercepted some encrypted communications across Romanzo. Elgato asking about what's happening? That's what I'm thinking. We managed to triangulate the position. Sending you the coordinates now. We got Tango. Stay we're close. The drone is up. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Nomad. We've got a possible kill in Elgato. Can you confirm? We've 
got his biometrics on file. Get me a photo and I'll run a comparison. Sending you biometric data now. Got it. Stand by while I run it through the system. Damn. It's a close match, but no joy. That's Elgato's double. Understood. We'll keep after him. I might be able to help you with that. The chemist you brought in gave up a possible location on Elgato's home. I'm pushing you coordinates now. Solid copy. We'll check it out. Man, that took some serious engineering work. Pretty sophisticated stuff for a remote area like this. The government invested heavily in potato farming as a way to supplant coca. It was a good plan, but the cartel put a stop to that. It could still offer future generations a way out. We just have to get rid of Santa Blanca first. Bad guys are marked, waiting on you, boss. Say the word. That's one shot. Engaging. Hostile down. Coming up on the target area now. You think Elgato's really here? We're gonna find out. Weapons free. You see the asshole, take him down. Roger that. Take cover! Place your mind for our Sicario friends. Target down. <laughs> you think you can kill me, putos? Elgato's invincible! Shoot! The hit. He's down. Is it him? You think we got the real El Gato this time? Let's get his biometric data and upload it to Bowman. She can tell us for sure. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've got another possible kill in El Gato. Sending biometric data now. Got it. Stand by while I run it through the program. Hot damn. It's a match. Good work, Nomad. El Gato's finally run out of lives. People have been trying to take this asshole down for a long time. What's his name? He's a doll, Theo. He doesn't have one. You have to be alive to have a name. See, si, I imagine that's true. Nidia, mi reina. Yes, mi reina. You know this expression. I love you more than life. Claro, of course. I love you, my queen. But not more than life. Excellent work in Romanzo. The cartel's smuggling operations just took a huge hit thanks to you. Even if they can get the destroyed plants up and running again, the loss of their liquid cocaine formula has cost them an irreplaceable asset. And killing Elgato has thrown his whole organization into chaos. That's what happens when the boss thinks he'll live forever. Thanks for the heads up, Bowman. We're shifting operations to a new AO. Nomad out. Bowman, we just entered Mohokoyo. They're moving a shitload of cocaine through there. It's a transit point. Stops in Mohokoyo before going to Kiwani and Romanzo. Any idea who's running it? No, but I know where they store the cocaine. You destroy those caches, and the Buchon in charge will show up to bitch out his people. And then we can nail him. Like a board. Get to it. This AO is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. Bowman's got files for us on all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn. I got a target carrying submachine guns. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Boquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Boquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. By the time he was 13, Boquita was a trapeciador, a master smuggler. Cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. One time he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Boquito could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, it was the rush. Until he met the beauty queen. Nydia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nydia was the brains. 
Wakita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he first laid eyes on her. Nydia never felt the same way, but one drunken night she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, and nine months later, they had a daughter, Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Bukita has two. Her Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter, that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in La Desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us, Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. Tango down. We'll need that chopper. Stay low. We got a depot full of white powder. Who wants to break a crackhead's heart? Most primed. DJ Target destroyed. Time to clear out. They're running out of places to hide this shit. That's a kill. Target down. Just stay down, I'll be right there. Man down, just hold on to your shit. Man down. Tango down. Tango down. That's it, we're clear. I got the C4 primed. Stockpile destroyed. Let's go. Jesus, feels like the more we destroy, the more these assholes make. Hostile down. We're boss. Open fire. Got him. You have made your news. Suffer. Demo is primed and in place. The stockpiles. Shit, how much you think all that was worth? More than I'll make in my whole life. My shoes cost more than you'll make in your whole life. Your shoes cost more than you'll make in your whole life. Lay away, baby. And worth every pen. Bowman, we destroyed the cocaine. Where's the Buchon? Those caches were a bit shy of what they should have had. Actually, a lot shy. You gonna hunt for the blow or the Buchon? The Buchon's phone was getting a lot of use during your attacks. The activities triangulated his position, a house in Rancho Sabala. We'll check it out. Extract him to an RP. I'm gonna ask him myself where he stashed all his coke. You all notice something weird around here? You mean the fucking sausage party? For real? There's no woman in this town? Got one. 
If we're looking for the biggest house in town, I think we found it. Let's say hello. guy running Mojo Coyo. We know he lives here. Antonio? I don't know where he is. Bullshit. You're his wife. Yes, but he doesn't tell me anything. He barely comes home anymore. Antonio, he's... he's sick. Sick how? Chiputo loco. He took the women from the village. All of them. I don't know what he's doing to them. Where is he now? If I tell you, what are you going to do? Nothing bad. Swear. We just want to get him the help he needs. He never stays anywhere long. Always moving. But I'll give you his agenda. <gasps> Acá ha venido. You get anything on the supply, Lieutenant? His name's Antonio. Seems to have a bit of a coke problem. His problem is he has too much of it. But let him know we'll help him out with that. You can tell him yourself when we bring him in. Bowman set the file on Antonio. Every week, more than six tons of white powder moves through Mojocoyo. It's a transit point, where shipments are kept secure, awaiting export to Brazil, the US, and Europe. Antonio is the buchon out here, the boss. His job is to keep all that coke safe. Thing is, being surrounded by cocaine all day is a really stressful job, like being the fat kid in charge of the sugar factory. And we all know what happens when you eat too much sugar. Your brain rots. You stop talking on phones. You stop trusting your own people. You stop going home to your wife. You even stop telling anyone when the shipments are coming in until the moment they arrive. When it comes to coke transports, Antonio is a vault. And I want to crack that motherfucker open. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Engaging hostile. Who snitched on me? What pinches soplon pocos huevos gave me up? I went to the shaman who put me on a vision quest and I saw the future. Yes, of course. A huevo pendejo. Right back at you. Even if you find the polvo, don't mean you can get it. I got me plebe all over those shipments ready to give their lives for it. That's good, because I'm ready to take their lives for it. Get the fuck off me! I'll kill your whole fucking family, motherfucker. Antonio, it's such a pleasure. Vete a la verga, bitch. Stop flirting, you little slut. The fuck is this? Christmas. You didn't hear the news? <laughs> news about what? Your death. Apparently, you OD'd. You want me to... I want to see your brain on drugs, pendejo. One way or another. Did I tell you to stop? going. She said keep going. I, I can't. My heart feels like it's gonna explode. Please, 
That's the point. Now clean your plate. Please. You want Nidia Flores, right? She's in Jalisco. Jalisco, Mexico. Santa Blanca is investing in meth. I don't know how long she's there, really. The first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. And you, my friend, have got a big fucking problem. Nomad, just finished TQ on Antonio. What do you give us? Besides a whole lot of bitch tears? Everything. Main stash and transit depots. Every motherfucking gram in the province. Guessing there might be some management changes in Santa Blanca. You want to light up Antonio's dashes, feel free. But if you want to look for nicer weather, you can leave the burning to somebody else. That coke's not going anywhere. Roger that. If we hang around, we'll send you some smoke signals. Here's a lesson in cocaineonomics. The biggest mistake most people make is focusing solely on the product. Claro, you need something to sell, but that's not where you make the money. One kilo of coca leaves costs about $1.50. It takes 400 kilos of coca leaves to make one kilo of cocaine. Even when turned into cocaine base, a kilo is only worth 1200 in Bolivia. However, every time you cross a border, the value increases. Once we reach Colombia, it's already 2200 We hit southern Mexico, 12000 Cross the border into Texas, 20000 New York City, our $1,200 investment is now worth 35000 Paris, London, 68 to 74000 It's a pipeline that carries the product to the people that need it. Sustenance for the thirsty. Once in place, the pipeline feeds itself. Workers, vehicles, wages, brides. But when there's a clog in the pipe... Uh, they took out another shipment. We lost seven tons last week. Four planes the week before. The water backs up. There's too much surplus. We can't keep it secure. My men are selling to each other. We can't pay people if they're not moving product. They're kidnapping civilians for ransom money. Too much water. We have to take Valeria and go. He'll kill us before we leave the country. Then what's the answer? When I find it, I'll let you know. And you drown. I got Antonio's wife on the line. She seems to be in trouble. Patch it through. Que pedo, pinche puto. Neta que eres pendejo. Hey, hey. I need you to calm down and speak slowly. They know I talked to you. Me mataste, hijo de la chingada. Where are you? Hiding at the church. But they're out there looking for me. Just stay there. We're on the way. We're moving. Stay behind me. Ya pues, vamos. I'll drive. Si lo viste aquí es cierto. Si te lo cuentan en otro lado. She calls the gate's target. I knew I never should have told you anything. They're going to bore me alive because of you. No one's gonna hurt you, I promise. It wasn't always like this. When I first met Antonio, he was a sweetheart. He used to write me letters. No one write letters anymore. What he did, I made fun of him for it. It doesn't seem so funny now. Drug money changes people. This life changes people. The only way to survive is to have eyes in the back of your head. Eventually, you stop looking forward. You've got another chance. You can start a new life. I can change where I live. I can change how I look. I can even change my name. But it will never be a new life. You're never gonna see Antonio again. Ever. He's on his way to a prison in the United States where he will spend the rest of his life. For the next 70 years, he will stare at the same walls, he will piss in the same toilet, and he'll have the same conversation with himself until his brain finally breaks. Life is over for him. You, on the other hand, have choices. If you want, you can leave right now. Of course, we both know they will kill you before you even cross the street. What if I don't know anything? Look both ways before you cross the street. 
Antonio's given up the location of a huge stash of cocaine hidden in Mojocoyo. This could be the mother load. Get in there and take it out. Two cartel gunmen connected to that coke ship. That's one less bad guy. He's history. Throwing a flashbang. Throwing a flashbang. Whoa. Holy shit. We find the main stash. You sure as fuck did. Now we gotta take it out. The devil's primed. The devil's primed and in place. Frag out. Come in here to culeros. Good job, guys. Let's clear the fuck out. Wish I could be there when Nidia Flores explains this still, Sueño. After losing the main stash, no way that conversation ends with have a nice day. Bowman, it's Nomad. We're done here. The main cocaine stash in Mojocoyo has been destroyed. Outstanding. Losing the cocaine and Antonio both is going to cause major grief for the cartel. Operations in Mojocoyo is going to be crippled for a long time to come. Solid copy. We're shifting to the next AO. Nomad out. Bowman, we're getting close to the Peruvian border, in a province called Inca Camina. A sizable chunk of Santa Blanca's cocaine is coming through unknown routes from Peru. This Peruvian cartel makes their own brand, but they can't distribute for shit, so they sell it to Santa Blanca. Sounds like an area where we could do some damage. Dig for intel on the ties between Santa Blanca and the Peruvians. Look for ways to break up that relationship. Your prime target will be a woman named La Cabra. She's Santa Blanca's main negotiator. We take her down, and the deal with the Peruvians goes with her. Copy that. We'll be in touch. Dolores Serrano de Perez, La Cabra. She and Nidia Flores have been BFF since, like, high school. As a teenager, she used to sell knockoff beauty products at her mother's stand in the market. At 13, she started selling cocaine, which is a sort of beauty product, I guess. Three husbands went out the door the way narco men usually do. La Cabra herself has been in and out of prison more than the laundry truck. Her other product is information, quite valuable in the cocaine trade. La Cabra will do anything she has to to get information. Information is what got her in with the Peruvian drug gangs. A valuable connection for Santa Blanca. Because the thing about being one of the world's largest cocaine producers is you're also the world's largest cocaine seller. And with that many customers, you need the supply to keep up with demand. You need a backup plan. The Cabra is Nidia Flores' backup plan. He's history. Oh, hell, they found their buddy. He's gonna fire. Ready, fire it.
Hey, we got locals tweeting about some crashed smuggling planes. They're tagged with a location. That cargo might be intact. Then we need to destroy those shipments before the cartel recovers them. We're late. We got Santa Blanca at the crash site. Marking an enemy. Kill confirmed. That's a kill. Say the word. I'm engaging tangles. Frag out. Get some. Frag out. The batch of Polvo Blanco is destroyed. Cartel's already here. Time to earn that combat pay. Got him. Ready. Call the shot. Tango down. Tango down. Frag out. Get some. That's a kill. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Cargo destroyed. Got two birds coming in. Get Santa Blanca's part of the crash, too. Helo's done. Frag out. Get some. Frag out. Frag out. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Cocaine shipment destroyed. We're done here. Definitely gonna make shit difficult for La Cabra's relationship with the Peruvians. Sueño's giving an expensive sports car as a signing bonus to one of the Peruvian drug lords. If El Sueño loses that car before it's delivered, he's gonna look like a punk. Let's make it happen. Freight yard's up ahead. You spot a blinged out ride, that's the one we're here to take. Hostile down. Tango down. Hostile down. It's the Santa Blanca cartel. They already employ many of you. And many of our neighbors. That's a kill. Conditions. Here's target number five. Tango down. Only dead chopper. Stay low. I got eyes in the car. Tango down. Come on, let's jack this ride. I guess this vehicle is what you call Andy's mountain bling. Why do you think Sonya's so hot for Peruvian coke? Ain't like they don't have enough of it here. This is coca, but it's still farming. Bad weather, mud slides. Hold on. Focus on the mission. Why do you think Swenny is so hot for Peruvian coke? Ain't like they don't have enough of it here. This is coca, but it's still farming. Bad weather, mudslides, earthquakes, there's all kinds of stuff that could go bad with the crop. Like us. 
like us. You export crops, you make sure you got lots of fields. Listen to you talking all countrified. This is a whole new side to you. Maybe I leave you can help out at my uncle's pig farm. <laughs> Wrapped up all nice and pretty for the DEA. I give a shit who gets credit. News in the car is gonna cost Santa Blanca a lot of respect with the Peruvian narcos. Clear over here. I've got an update for you. In light of all the damage you've been causing in Inca Camina, the Cabras demanded a sit down with the Peruvians to renegotiate their deal. Cost of business just went up for Santa Blanca, and they want to sweat the Peruvians to lower their prices. Exactly. We've got a time and location for the negotiations. When the Cabra and her counterpart meet, take her and her Peruvian counterpart out of the picture. Roger that. See a second target. Here's target number five. I've got the target. Ready to engage. I'm shooting these fuckers. That's one ass bad guy. I found their amigo. Damn. Location of the meeting is in sight. Looks like the party's already starting. Tango down. Hostile down. Target marked. There's the Peruvian negotiator. We got eyes on La Cabra. Hostile down. Target down. HVT is down. Say again, La Cabra is down. Target KIA. Negotiator's down. He's dead. Bravo, Zulu. This will cripple negotiations with the Peruvians. Their bosses will use this to demand more concessions from El Sueño. El Sueño will tell the Peruvians to go fuck themselves. Everybody goes away unhappy. Except us. We're shifting to the next AO. Nomad out. We entering a new province? Yeah. Villa Verde. Map shows one major road which leads to the city of Villa Verde. Other than that, looks like a lot of jungle. Let's give Bowman a call. Bowman, we're crossing into the province Villa Verde. Other than a lot of legal coca farms, there's a mine there owned by the cartel. The mine is the cartel's source for pyrolusite. It's used to make chemicals that purify the cocaine, make it nice and white or something. I think we could screw up that step in production for you. I don't have intel on who's running things in Villa Verde. Be careful. Gather intel on the Buchan before making any big moves. Bowman out. This is one of those legal coca farms. So like, can we get some legal coca here? For the altitude? For the altitude, yeah. <laughs> You're not having any coca. You know, first thing headquarters is gonna do when we get back home is make us piss in a cup. But the altitude, it's getting hard to breathe. Shut up. Got something here. Looks like the local boss is a guy named El Way. He has a house in a place called Riverine. Let's check it out. Bowman. The name of the Buchon in Via Verde is El Way. El Way? We know him. I wasn't sure he was in Via Verde. He's in charge of processing the pyrolusite into the chemical used to purify the cocaine. An Unidad lieutenant named Bento caused an accident in the processing plant that burned El Way's fucking off. Oh, so it was easy to spot in the crowd. When the bandages came off, Lieutenant Bento made fun of Elway's hamburger face. Elway went after him and almost started a war. Sueño had to step in. That sounds like a great lever to pull. Frame Elway for the lieutenant's murder. The war starts up for real. I'll send you some intel on Elway. Bowman out. Bowman just sent us a video starring none other than Bolivia's butt ugliest comedian, Elway. Sure to be a barrel of laughs. This is Elway. Real name, 
Pedro Gil. And I know the first question you're asking. What the fuck happened to him? You know what pyrolucite is, right? Yeah, neither did I. Pyrolucite, key syllable pyro, by the way, is the shit they mine in Via Verde province to turn coca leaves into high quality cocaine. So what, you ask? Elway's father was a miner. His grandfather was a miner. His grandfather's father was a miner. Basically, Elway didn't have many options until El Bukita came along. You want to make some real money? Turns out he wanted to make some real money. Turns out, in fact, he was ambitious. Elway wanted to improve pyrolucite to produce the best cocaine the world has ever seen. Ever hear the expression, it blew up in his face? According to our sources, Elway is a generally affable guy. Good to his workers, cool with Unidad. Just don't ever, ever make a joke about his face. Get a load of this. It has to be the cartel's operation center for Via Verde. The local Bucha should have quarters there. Let's take a gander. I don't have a shot. I'm engaging Target take down. Got the target. Lost the target. Hey! This little arsenal. These are homemade shotgun shells. Mexican pesos and birdshot inside. That's a signature. When Elway shoots somebody, he wants everyone to know it was him. Let's grab these and give Bowman a call. This is the experience that Santa Muerte embodies. Come to us and learn how to become the I've got a plan to trap Elway. How about we kill the Unidad captain and leave Elway's signature shells at the scene to pin it on him? Sound good? Make it happen. I like the idea of this load of pesos and birdshot. When I was a kid, a neighbor used to fill his shotgun with rock salt instead. That's some hardcore shit. Blasting salt into the wound. Deploying drone. Here's Captain Bento. Let's take him out. My name is Rodolfo El Chico. Many of you know me, and I am proud to warn many of you recently. Some of you close to me have told me of concerns about the cartel. Concerns that I know you all share. I respect the... Your dead captain is down. Just plant those shotgun shells and get going. One tango gauging tangos. It's throwing a flashbang. Looks like we've wrapped it. With the shotgun shells there, Unidad will accuse Elway of the killing, and nobody's friends anymore. Come on, let's go see what other trouble we could stir up. Third target. Only dead trouble. Stay low. <laughs> Took out the helo. Got the target. Engaging. Check this out. The head of the miners' union in Via Verde. This guy named Chango. Flat out hates how the cartel treats workers here. Sounds like we have a lot in common. Bet he'd be happy to lend us a hand with fucking up their pyrolucite supply chain.
That's the union leader. Let's go talk to him. We hear you'd like to get those SB soldiers off your back. Por supuesto. Who wants to work like a slave for those narcos? If we could make that happen, would you be willing to abandon the mines for good? Pero no pueden. You can just kill off every Santa Blanca soldier in the country. If we could manage it, we would. But we can't take out enough of them for you to have the time to gather your families and flee. Se lo agradezco mucho. Santa Blanca has taken over our place in San Marquesa. Clear out that mine, and we should be able to get free. That we can make happen. I'm shooting these fuckers. What the hell are you doing? Take cover! Look alive. This is the miners' district, and it's crawling with Santa Blanca. We clear them out, and those miners are one step closer to leaving these parts for honest work. Hostile down. To kill. How are you looking? We're clear over here. Clear. I could use some rounds. Clear here. That got kind of stressful, huh? Well, if you didn't want to be a gunfighter, you should have joined the Peace Corps. I called Pacatori for some reinforcements. Hostile down. He's dead. That ought to keep their polvo from turning nice and white. You know pyrolucite is used to filter water, too. There are other ways to manage that, though, right? Fuck it. I was drinking bottled water anyway. I found intel on the location of the pyrolucite labs. Looks like a good target for sabotage. He's history. Watch your fire. Tango hit the gunshot. Opening fire. Here we go. The dead's firing on the cartel. We got cartels. Yeah. Looks like a lab up ahead. Ammo's primed. Lab destroyed. Ooh, uh, on to the next one. Ready. Call the shot. He's gone. That's a kill. We got a lab up here. I'm having a college flashback. Maybe I can work on my aggressions against my organic chem professor. Demo is primed and in place. Clear. That's it for any easy pyrolucite we're finding around these parts. That should put a nice crimp in Elway's career. Not to mention the cartel's supply chain. Sounds like it's Cerveza's time. Unidad wants Elway dead for killing that officer. Sueño wants him dead to make peace with Unidad. And you destroyed the guy's pyrolucite operation. You gunslingers have fucked up Elway's world for good. I hope he isn't taking it personally. You can ask him in person. If he wants to stay breathing, Elway's got nowhere else to turn but us. 
And I want to know what he knows. Got a lead on his 20? Uni Dad is hunting him down. Head to their base, see if you can find intel on his location there. Jesus, you like giving us the impossible missions. Just give us a call if you find something out before we have to sneak into the devil's asshole, okay? I thought you liked poking around the devil's asshole. Bowman out. There's the Unidad base. We're crazy sneaking into there. We don't get paid enough. You don't get crazy pay? I hear it's like three times combat pay, but they charge you extra for the therapy. He's history. Target marked. Copy. Target marked. Fire on these Target down. That's a kill. According to this, we need that as a tracker on Elway's car. We better hurry then before they find him. At least Can I had to send in some professionals to snag cool. me. Cool. Respect, Ringos. Uh. You're lucky I don't have my street sweeper, or you putos de mierda be looking in the dirt for pieces of your brain, man. You mean the one you like to load with coins? I hear someone killed a Nuni dead captain like that. Left some extra shells at the scene. What? You pinche puto. Just making the change we want to see. I was doing good here, you know. I'm a good fucking miner, way. I grew up watching the diggers coming home all covered in dirt and shit. I'm one of these cabrones, right? But these brutos are all socialists. No cheap gays. Reds, pinkos, they always talk about organizing the workers and shit. But it's all unorganized. What is a collective anyways? They gotta vote on every little fucking thing like what color hard hats are we gonna order? You know how hard it is to get fuckers doing shift work to all get together? To talk some shit out and then vote on it? Can you imagine how Santa Blanca was a collective? I'm a businessman. I'm all about production and getting shit done. Getting results. I mean, sure, technically we took away their ownership of the mines. And though they didn't share in any of these profits, that mine earned more revenue in the last six months than it did for any of the years under their collective bullshit. I stole that mine and made it successful way. <laughs> oh, you know. I hate you pinches culeros de mierda. But I don't blame you. Like, es como? I know this was all business. Thanks, Elway. We don't hate you either. I mean, Los Polvos is a fucked up business. My cousin Chiro up in Culiacan, he does so much blow, I don't think he can recognize himself in the mirror. His nose is running all the time. He used to sing good too, but since that Polvo fucked up his nose, he don't sing so good. He a Carrito performer or something. No, Neta, no. We was in the church choir, but that was when we was kids. I was a good soprano, actually. Then my balls dropped. Ah, uh, Mr. Elway, you are one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Chingaro, I get it now. She like a spook, huh? Have a seat. Aguanta. Respect, fool. But lady, I'm not a snitch, right? I know you have to be macho and mouth off, but I'm gonna make you talk. Even if I have to burn off what's left of your face. We don't need to get rid of your body if we just cremate you. Hey, 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 chill, okay? I'm sure I can spare a few tidbits. Everybody just relax. Desperate people make desperate mistakes. And I had made El Yayo and La Gringa desperate. I pressured them too much. But I had no choice. The attacks on our production were increasing. It was hurting our supply chain. If something was not done, we would lose our market share. So I pushed them to produce more coke. They couldn't do it. So they started to cut it, dilute it, lower the quality to increase the quantity. An understandable mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. I had spent years branding Santa Blanca, a quality product, the best in the world. A primo price for a primo product. 
problem was the product wasn't Primo anymore. And someone had to pay for that. Heads up, Nomad. Looks like La Gringa just hit her expiration date with the cartel. What do we know? The damage you've done to cartel production. Force La Gringa to start cutting the purity of her coke to keep up with demand. Maybe she was playing for time, hoping she could get things back under control before Sueño noticed. If so, she bet wrong. Now Sueño's gonna make an example out of her. There's a crew on the way to her house right now. La Gringa's got nowhere to run. Unless we give her a way out. Exactly. I need you to haul ass and get to her house in Pugillo. Convince her she's better off with us than with Sueño and get her to the extraction point. Pujillo Village is just up ahead. Let's hustle and get to La Gringa before the cartel does. Right behind you, boss. Looks like some of Katari's rebels are defending La Gringa's house. What's going on here? you what do you want we're your way out of this mess understand but we've got to move right fucking now i won't get far not like this i know someone he lives in a village not far from here the rebels they take their wounded to him when they can how old do you know that rebel doctor he won't talk to the cartel if that's what you're afraid of they don't scare him he's the bravest guy i know we met when i was working at the ngo the fake NGO. He was the local guy. And a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. He needed medicine and vaccines. I had the money. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Hell if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. You gotta hold on, Green Cup. Still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. I'm going into Is she gonna make it? She better. What were rebels doing protecting your house? That guitar must have sent them. To protect me. I feel cold. I'm starting to feel cold. Why would Pat Katari protect the cartel scientists like you? Uh, I, I've been using Swainer's money to. I medical supplies. Yes. Pac didn't mention that shit to us. How would I know? I'm not cold. Are you? This is me. I can't. Please. I've got to stop. Don't quit on me now, lady. Sight's just up ahead. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, por supuesto. Leave her with me. I'll do everything I can. We'll buy you all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. Contact. Sueño sent another crew after us. Take him down. Placing a mine for our Sicario plane. Giving the dock all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting like Gringa out of here. Okay, Gringa, time to go. Please, just give me a minute. I stopped the bleeding, but I got a ball of lead in my shoulder. The cocktail the doc just gave you? I bet you can't even feel your face, let alone that bullet. You got me there. We're leaving. You feel like you're gonna keel over or puke? Just look at the horizon. It'll keep you steady. 
We're at the extraction point. Let's get her to Bowman and call for a dust off. It's called tactical field care. Stop being such a pussy. Oh, God. God. Here. Open it. Open it. Her extract is ten minutes out. Oh, fucking hell. I'll be glad to be rid of this whiny bitch. Your little clinic might have bought you some redemption with the rebels, but that crap doesn't play for me. But with a set of lungs like yours, you're gonna be a big hit in prison. Why don't you just let me die? The thought had crossed my mind. But five years from now, ten, hell, maybe even fifty years from now, when I'm so old I can't even wipe my own ass, it's gonna make me happy to think of little Mousy Lagringa and all those nasty friends she made in prison. I don't care. I'm happy to go to your prison. A lifetime, ten lifetimes in prison is better than Sueño. Your worst could never compare to his. Bowman. We're entering a province called Espiritu Santo. Espiritu Santo is the base for Sueño's religious propaganda. Key to that is a woman named La Santera, a self-proclaimed Santa Muerta priestess with thousands of loyal followers. That witch has an uncanny ability to turn men with guns into fanatics. That's the shit that keeps me up at night. Narcos have been into Santa Muerte for decades, but most worshippers aren't cartel. That's a small mercy. You got an angle on changing the mind of a fanatic? You're gonna need to dig for intel. Find out how to take down La Santera in a way that will demoralize the Sicarios and turn the regular folk away from the cartel. When she loses her congregation, bring that witch to me. Bowman out. La Santera, the saint maker. Es una chica loca. This chick is batshit crazy. She used to be a good girl, devout Catholic, until she found Santa Muerte, the skinny lady, and went all in. If El Cardinal is the light, charitable side of Santa Muerte, La Santera is the dark hedonism. The cartel's twisted, fucked up version of the saint. El Sueño knows a chart topper when he sees one, so he put her on his label. Preach, mommy. What's good for Santa Muerte is good for Santa Blanca. He even built her a sanctuary deep in the heart of Espiritu Santo. La Santera's role in the cartel? Ensure loyalty. The more cartel members prove themselves, the more access they get to Santa Muerte. You want Santa Muerte to protect you from bullets? Smuggle 200 kilos. You want to be blessed with eternal wealth? Recruit five of your cousins to Santa Blanca. You want to go to heaven? Kill ten of her enemies. It's like a ranking system for scumbags. The more you do for your cartel, the more the saint of holy death will do for you. A true reward for true believers. And trust me on this. La Santera is a true believer. Tango down. Ready. Call the shot. I'm shooting these fuckers. Become more. I found some info on a Esteban Ibarra, the cartel's contact in La Santera's cult. He used to be some kind of professor, but now he's Santera's advisor. He gives speeches pretty regularly around here. Maybe we should pay him a visit. In the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit, Santa Muerte! Señora Poderosa, we invoke your spirit to join us today to bless this gathering of your faithful. Hermanos, I stand before you a man humbled, for I was once a proud man, a vain man. I once thought I was somebody, pero ahora I have now, brave and cheerful in the face of that awesome power, the blind justice of Santa Muerte. This is the Santa Muerte Sanctuary. Keep your eyes open. Huh? Is he saying something deep or something crazy? When in doubt, bet on crazy. Amen to that. The LT is making a run for it. Target is down. Say again, target is down.
tango down. Ready to engage. Lost visual on the target. Tango down. Target acquired. Interesting. Got a document here mentioning La Santera's main chapel in the Spiritu Santo. Let's go check it out. He's down. That's a kill. Let's see if you can find Sueño's Bible around here. La Santera is supposed to be helping him write it. It's bugging me out. All this religion mixed in with the drug trafficking. But it's smart. Faith can give a person a lot of strength of will. And it can make them act batshit crazy just because it's Tuesday. Just find the damn thing. He's history. Hostile down. There it is. Let's take off. Good job, people. Stealing the Bible ought to piss off Lesson Terra and Sueño. Ready. Call the shot. Target eliminated. Target acquired. Standing by. Firing. That guy's history. Okay, we're still all right. That's a kill. I've got a map that marks the location of some kind of makeshift barracks in the jungle. Looks like Las Enteras detail of Sicarios is living there. Now that's a cross. Kind of reminds me of the Valle de los Caídos in Spain. You know that Civil War monument? I gotta hand it to Sueño. He's got some impressive architects and engineers on his payroll. Must be on the pilgrimage route. They built these places to house pilgrims from the U.S., Mexico, and Central America. Hold up. I'm seeing a lot of cartel activity over here. Maybe some kind of barracks. In this area, they probably answer directly to La Santera. Got him. He's down. There's that makeshift barracks. Those boys look kind of salty. I expect La Santera's personal Sicarios are some of Santa Blanca's best. And there's a whole lot of them. Who's feeling froggy? Watch your fire. We Marking don't want to hit any civilians. That's a kill. I'm spotting another tango. Round just missed. Marking target. Watch the background. Boom, target down. Bowman, we just traded gunshots with a bunch of thick-skinned Sicarios here in the Spiritu Santo. Don't let your weapons cool down. I'm uploading coordinates for another Santa Blanca camp nearby. That guy's history. Got eyes on the tango. He's got a lot of background. Going on. That's a kill. That's it. Fought to the last man. I guess surrender isn't in their vocabulary. Unidad's firing on the cartel. Unidad troops are... I found the location of Santa Blanca's gold caches in Spiritu Santo. This looks like their main source of revenue. Maybe the Sapper Daddy needs to pay them a visit.
Eyes up, we got hostiles in the area. We got a Sicario. There, by the container. I got eyes in some kind of mine. Looks cartel run. A gold mine's never a good thing for a cartel to have. Who are? Uh, let's shut it down. Here's target number five. Hey, throwing a flashbang. I'm opening fire. Hold the board. Frag out. Frag out. Get some. Shit, you hear that rumbling? Let's take off before we get buried alive. Go! What's mission status in the Spiritu Santo? Sapper Daddy got busy. We just blew up a cartel gold cache. Holt's heart is broken forever. Well, he better get over it fast. The activity has intercepted a call. Santa Blanc is moving their remaining gold cache to safety. We gotta hit that cache before they do. We're on it. Engaging. That's a kill. Spot you. Tango down. Frag out. This is about to collapse. Let's get the hell out of here now. Congratulations. Thanks to you, La Santera's world has been fucked raw. Word is Sueño's most pissed about her losing his Bible, calling it a mortal sin. He's got her locked, and he's planning a public execution. So we're done here, correct? Negative. We've done a number on La Santera's credibility. Imagine how Sueño will look if you blow his big PR stunt. You want us to save La Santera? I want you to save La Santera. Bowman out. All gold cash is destroyed. Mission complete. Holy shit. You can say that again. That's a kill. Opening fire. I've got the target. We did all this work to get her here. It seems a shame to rescue her. Amen to that. Let me go, herejes inmundo, or I shall call Santa Muerte's divine wrath upon you. The rivers will run red with the blood of you and your family. That's fucking harsh, lady. Let's go. Go ahead, I'll meet you. Faith is its own intelligence. Están ciegos. By the time you believe, by the time you understand, it will be too late for you. You believe that your guns give you power over death. 
But no one has power over Santa Muerte. And death shall have no dominion. ¿Qué? ¿Qué dijiste, idiota? You let me go, estúpidos. Aquí yo soy el poder. I have power, magic, like you've never seen. We're just trying to save your life. Santa Muerte will strike you and your progeny off the face of the earth. Worry about your own progeny. Santa Muerte's abandoned you, Bruja. Rally points up ahead. No. No! Santa Muerte, why have you forsaken me? Because you're a fucking liar, and instead of venerating Santa Muerte, you tried to use her. Seems like Santa Muerte rides with us now, bitch. No. This is just God and Santa Muerte testing my faith. I am being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Santissima Muerte. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Unidad Bird approaching. Stay down. Déjame ir! Por favor! Wake up. Unidad approaching. ¿Qué pasa? Santissima Muerte is my rock. My fortress, my deliverer. Wrap your wings around me. Protect me from the storm and bring your wrath upon my enemies. We've seen your wrath, Santera, and honestly, we're not impressed. I have done nothing wrong. Santa Muerte is my light and my way. Worshipping her is not against the law. No, but recruiting people into a criminal organization sure as fuck is. Judgment is reserved for God and Santissima Muerte. Maybe in the next life, but not here. You want to earn some absolution? What do you know about Sueño? I am no Judas. No te equivoques. I will never betray Brother Sueño. You know, people like you aren't treated very nicely in prison. Other inmates tend to make their life hell. I have the faith to survive in hell. Hmm. I look forward to testing that faith. Because you've never seen my hell. Nomad, well done in Espiritu Santo. Any word on how the Sicarios are reacting? With a lot of crying and cursing. From some of the chatter the activities picked up, the cartel's morale is the lowest it's ever been. Keep the hits coming. Bowman out. Shame! The whole world condemns you! Someone had leaked Ramon's story. Even without proof, the damage was done. Help me, Padre. You are beyond help. I can do nothing for you. Listen to me, old man. Do you believe that I could hurt a child? That I would risk losing my life's work? For a small amount of money? Do you truly believe that? No, no, I don't. Good. Then you will hold a mass. Invite the most powerful and influential people in Bolivia. Defend me against these lies. Swear on the Santissima Muerte that what they say is false. You are not coming? No. I have business to take care of. Nomad? Tell your team to ruck up. It's time to go after El Cardinal. What's the plan? We're gonna use the evidence you obtained from Ramon Feliz's hard drive to expose El Cardinal for the hypocritical fuck he really is. I'm good with that. When and where? I'm sending you the coordinates of a village in Malka province where we can link up. Bowman out. Why are we meeting here? El Cardinal's gonna give a sermon to the Bolivian public to calm them about the child trafficking, but we've got the means to discredit the cartel. Show this video to that congregation, things will melt down quick. After that, snatch and grab Cardinal, bring him to the RP. Roger that, we'll see you there. This thumb drive's got video evidence that the cartel is smuggling children. You broadcast this shit while the Cardinal's giving a speech. Shit, they'll go from following him to calling for his blood. And he'll either leave with us, or stay and get strung up.
get in there to upload the video. Keep it quiet. If we raise any alarms, we lose our shot. There's another one. That's ten. We spotted one with submachine guns. Eyes on El Cardinal. This is the biggest revival I've ever been to. After we show the evidence, we'll need to move fast or this crowd becomes a problem. Hua. 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 That's a kill. That's a kill. He's history. That's a kill. Remember, low and slow. Let's find the broadcast terminal and start the upload. Grab this asshole before the crowd gets him. In position, target alert. Just say the word. Firing. Corrupt casinos. Watch it. In the name of God. God's got nothing to do with this card now. It's over. You want to get out of here one piece, we're your only option. Understand? Yes! Yes, of course! Anything you say, just get me out of here! No more! Hang on, I'll drive. Keep it moving, Padre. Padre? Don't you dare use that term of respect to patronize me. I give people a spiritual guidance. My congregation numbers are in the thousands. A congregation in a church bought and paid for by the cartel. I brought the congregation to Sueño because he's a true believer. He knows that I bring the true word of God. Isn't vanity one of the seven sins, Padre? I am no longer wasting my time talking to you. The lips of wisdom are closed, except to the ears of understanding. You are too small-minded to understand. Let's see what His Holiness has to say to Bowman. Win back Bolivia. Get that quieto. Clear over here. Our priest has taken a vow of silence. You should actually read that when you're in prison. La conozco. No te apures. If a sinner chooses to worship at my church, if he chooses to pray with me, it is my duty to God to help the flock find its way. It does not make me a criminal. No. Money laundering makes you a criminal. Your church is built on a foundation of trafficking in white powder and kids. Usted no entiende. I felt horrible about those children. If that's true, then confess. Right here, with me. Absolve yourself of your sins. May God forgive me. In, In the name of the Father, Padre, and of the Hijo, Son, and of the Holy Santo. Ghost. The image was broken. The dream was crumbling. My church was dying out. Many of my men were leaving me. The campesinos were no longer afraid to slander my name. Those who hated me said I did all of this out of pride. The mausoleum, the websites, the Bible. They said I did it out of vanity. But if they could have seen it, if everyone could have seen my dream, they would have understood. I did it for them, for the sicarios, the farmers, the miners. I did it so they would dream of a better life for themselves so they could envision how great they could become, how great they could make Santa Blanca, and how great Santa Blanca could make them. But when you get a glimpse behind the curtain, then you realize that the magic is nothing more than smoke and mirrors. 
and the glory which you once aspired to is nothing but a sham. Bowman, this is Nomad. We're boots down in Montaillac. What have you got for us? Montaillac is Santa Blanca's primary training ground. They've got a number of military-style training camps in the province and bring in recruits from all over South America. El Muro is spending big money to bring people in with special forces background to train cartel recruits. The senior instructor is rumored to be former U.S. military, but we don't know much more than that. I need you to gather intel on the cartel's training ops and get me an ID on the senior instructor. Solid copy, Bowman. We'll get on it. Tango down. Shit balls. I'm shooting these fuckers. Next to the container. Got a location on a cartel resupply point here in Montioc. Looks like it provides most of the weapons and ammunition for the province. If we went in and destroyed those supplies, it would cripple cartel ops across the whole province. We rattled somebody's cage. Fucking sniper's got a zero. Frag out. They're coming this way. They're destroyed. Frag out. Come in here, culeros. Frag out. Get some. Ammo crate down. Frag out. This one crate down. Looks like we riled them up. Frag out. Get some. It's the last of the crates. Objective's clear. You think it'll help? Shit, the way I see it, the less these assholes have to shoot at me with, the better. Got that right? Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? I'm getting up to get into this. Opening fire! fire. Get... Pay dirt. We've got a location on the cartel's primary training camp here in Montioc. Let's hit it. You guys seen this? Looks like some sort of cartel training camp. According to Bowman, all the new recruits come through here. Santa Blanca hires ex-military guys as trainers. Not just Mexicans either. Some of them come from Russia, Africa, Israel. Even had a couple from the U.S. What's got to happen in your life to decide working for a drug cartel is a viable career move? Nothing good. He's history. Target down. Coming up on the objective area. Get in there, find the instructors, and take them out. He's history. That's a kill. Hang back, they see you. Instructors hit. Good kill. Tango down. I'm opening fire. He's history. Target down. 
Target down. Target marked. Ready to engage. It's the last of the instructors. We're done here. You really think this will slow the cartel down? Absolutely. When word gets out about what happened, El Murrow's gonna have a hell of a time getting new instructors. And if the dumbasses don't listen, we keep coming back until they get the message. I think they found their pal. Shit. Sicario next to the firing range. Alarm over here. That's a kill. Hostile down. Down. You're giving yourself a fuel. That's a kill. That tango might spike. Got a location on a cartel comm center here in Montiac. This could be the break we're looking for. How do you figure? We get in there, hack the message logs, and feed the intel to Bowman. With luck, she can scrub the records and come up with an ID on our mystery instructor. Pinch, ah, cabron! Talk, motherfucker! Suéltame, cabron! Te vas a morir! I Te vas a morir! Ah. But I'll tell you this one thing. Got some good intel on a care package. Coming up on the objective now. We need to get inside and hack their message logs for intel. Let's move. Ready. Call the shot. I don't... No, he's dead. Boom. Target dead. They're on alert. Hostile kill. Got a laptop here. Looks like it's connected to the network. Let's see what we can get out of it. Downloading now. I'm pushing the take direct to Bowman. Stand by. Bowman, this is Nomad. I'm sending you message logs from a cartel comm center here in Montioc. If we're lucky, the name of the cartel senior instructor is in there. I'm getting it now. Wait one. No joy. There's nothing in here that points to their top guy. There is something interesting, though. Looks like they've got search parties out looking for a deserter. One of their new recruits ran off a few days back. They think he might still be in the area. How does that help us? If he was in the training program for any length of time, it's possible he came into contact with our guy. You think this deserter can give us an ID? Only one way to find out. Throwing a flashbang. Firing. History. Their lieutenant's running away. Get off of me! We're clear over here. God, these fuckers. Talk are to me, Pinche Pendejo. Who's this deserter you're looking for? Some little pocos huevos, maricón de mierda, who ran off from the training camp. Boss says we get to make an example out of him so the others don't get the same idea. We're gonna drag him back and let the other recruits take turns on him with a machete. Where's this little chicken shit now? We don't know for sure yet, but we're getting close. One of the other search parties thinks they found his trail. Where's this other search party? Tell me and maybe I'll let you go. Okay, okay, chinga. We're closing in on the deserter. Let's sweep the area where he was spotted and see if we can find him. We've got eyes on another search party. We've got to be in the right grid. Cartel's closing in. We'd best haul ass and find this dude before they do. Copy that. I've got eyes on the package. Go, go, go. Hostile. Opening fire. Tango down. Engaging. Damn, that sure got his attention. No! Let me go! That was fucking close. Put the mic! Get the fuck away from me! Let me go! Shut up. From here on out, I talk, you listen. Not if you understand. Now move. Please don't take me back there, Neta, por favor. I'm begging you. I can't take it, you hear me? Yeah, brother, no lo aguanto. I can't. It's unspeakable, the things they made me do. They put a hammer in my hand and made me kill a 15-year-old boy. Me obligaron, se lo juro. I can still hear his dream. 
I'd rather die than go back, you hear me? Say the word, boss. Shit balls. Emilio, Wait, no, someone I want you let to meet. me go. Go, Perry, total supper clear. You want to get away from the cartel, Emilio? I can make that happen, but I need something from you. What can you tell me about the man running the camp? Carajo, I don't know. He's a gringo, big man, guys like stones, you know. It's malo. Even the guards are scared of him. He got a name? One of the instructors, they call him Bookheart. Carl Bookhart? You know who he's talking about? There was a Sergeant Bookhart with the Rangers when I was in the sandbox back in 03. We worked together a couple of times. Shit. Get back to your team. I'll check in with Langley and see what I can find out about Bookhart. Emilio gave us a name. Carl Bookhart. Dude's an American? If he's the guy I'm thinking of, he used to be an Army Ranger. We even served together for a while. A ranger? No. No fucking way. Bowman's getting confirmation now. She'll get back to us when she knows for sure. Got some background for you on Carl Bookhart. Looks like you were right. His 214 has him in Iraq with 3rd Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment back in 03, discharged in 06, and then he drops off the radar. I'm getting the notion he's kept in shape. Our deserter tells me he's at a cartel base located inside the abandoned Choza Padre silver mine. Find Bookhart, take him out. Killing him will disrupt the cartel's training program for months. Copy that. We'll get it done. Get ready. Odds left, evens right. Focus on your goddamn sectors this time. Carl Bookhart, former sergeant, 3rd Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment, natural born killer. Show me what you got, cocksuckers. Make me hard. Go, go, go! Carl was in and out of juvie from around age 15. Records are sealed, but the pattern is what you'd expect. At 18, a judge gave him the choice of joining the army or doing jail time. Bookhart thrived in the army. After graduating from ranger school, he deployed to Iraq with 3rd Battalion in 2003. He finally found his place and was looking to make the army his career. And then in 05, his patrol hit an IED in downtown Ramadi. Bookhart didn't take to civilian life. He couldn't keep a job for more than a couple of weeks and started having run-ins with the cops again started telling anyone who'd listen about how the army fucked him over. Eventually, he started spending time over the border in Juarez. God knows what Bookhart was looking for down there, but eventually he crossed paths with El Muro, head of Santa Blanca security. They share some beers, maybe some blow. Bookhart gets to talking about his army days. El Muro is impressed. He knows the real thing when he sees it. He asks Bookhart to come to Bolivia to train the cartel's army in the Montiuk province. El Muro wants them to be the best force of its kind in all of South America. And Bookhart is just the kind of man he's looking for. The kind of man who can run combat drills, show a bunch of morons how to field strip a G36 in two minutes flat. The kind of man who can turn narcos into elite soldiers. That's a kill. We're closing in on Bookhart's last known location. We really gonna do this, boss? Kill one of our own? Bookhart stopped being our brother the day he went to work for the cartel. You see him, you take him out. No hesitation. <sighs> Jesus, it smells like a slaughterhouse in here. The hell kind of training is Bookhart doing? The first thing a Sicario recruit learns is what it's like to kill a human being. They bring in prisoners and make the recruits take turns on them with hammers and machetes. Sometimes it's men, sometimes women, sometimes it's little kids. And the recruits know that if they hesitate, they're next. Engage targets. Fucker knows Target somebody's down. gunning for him now. Target 
it down. And baby makes three. up. Got eyes on Bookhart. Target marked. Fuck, Bookhart made me. He's on the run. Come on, operator. Get some. Let's see how tough you are. It's over, Bookhart. You're done. Ah oh, shit, we've been spotted. Hey, throwing a flashbang. You ain't shit. You hear me operate? You got hold on. Good work in Montaoc. Losing book hearts gonna have a major impact on the cartel's training program. Santa Blanca's best troops are going to be stretched thin to try and cover for the loss. It'll compromise their security and get us one step closer to El Muro. Damn right. The cartel's been calling the shots in Bolivia for years. Now, finally, we're starting to push back. Keep at it. We got him. Bookhart's dead. Hell of a way for a ranger to die. Bookhart chose this. Don't forget that. We did what we had to do. Nomad. Things are moving fast on Santa Blanca's side of the board. El Muro and El Sueño are at war. Because Sueño told Muro to kill his own brother? After that, Muro paid Unidad to hit Sueño. Guess that didn't go so well. Not so much. So now we let these assholes wipe each other out? <sighs> I wish. Unfortunately, Muro is one of our only shots at Sueño. They've been best friends since childhood. We need to know everything he knows. Got it. So we grab El Muro before Unidad slips him out of Bolivia, or Sueño kills him. El Muro was outmanned and outgunned, and he knew it. What do you do when you don't have an army and you need one? You buy one. Every officer, like every prostitute, has a price. Give it an El Sueño. It was the right move. I would have done the same thing. But El Muro forgot. Fear is always worth more than money. We got small arms fire. El Muro's Unidad buddies are trading shots with Santa Blanca. All right, we go in and we find El Muro. Target down. Let's get the motherfucker. We need him alive. I say again, we need that HVT alive. Come here, fuckface. Back off, puto! Get your fucking hands off me! Chinga la madre! If you gringos were smart, you stopped right here. Put a bullet in my brain and go about your fucking business. Maybe we just like your company, Muro. is isn't every day we meet a genuine Billy badass. You got huevos, I give you that. But well, you pendejos are just as people up on my way to killing a sueño. Two men like you being friends? You all had to know one day you were gonna try to kill each other. Maybe. True amigos are a huevo. Between me half and mi hermano, the choice will always be mi hermano. I'm gonna skin that pendejo sueño and I'm gonna hang his fucking face on the wall. Or like a trophy, you know. Yeah, I get the idea. But you? I ain't gonna take no trophy when I kill you. You ain't worth it. This is it, El Muro. 
Welcome to the end of your illustrious career. I like you, Yankees. You always know how to dream. That reporter is already putting stories on the interwebs. She doesn't mention you, but she says the rebels freed her and the other prisoners, and that we're awesome! You have anything interesting to say? He's an angry guy, that's for sure. Not a masculine puta. I see what you mean. You want some vengeance against Sueño? I am the means and the way. You just have to start talking. Every word you say is a nail in his coffin. And this is why you keep me alive? It is muy pendeja. To hint kill my brother. Shed my blood in this pinche fucking Bolivian wasteland. I don't even have his goddamn body. Now you expect me to help you take down my best friend? What fucking planet do you think you're on? Helping us nab Sueño is protecting yourself. Why would I do that to him? To myself? Ubicate vieja. We are men out here in the wild. We don't play these pinches moritos games. I respect Sueño. And if I'm going to respect myself, I'm gonna put him down with my own bullet. Demi fusca cabrona. And now, I got a bullet for you too, Karen Bowman. My security forces were shattered. I was a king without an army. My generals were dead or captured. I had no defenses, no armor. What use was a gun without a loyal hand to hold it? I had lost the only man I ever considered a friend. And when I asked my partners in Mexico for more sicarios, they refused. I would try to recruit from the gangs in El Salvador and Honduras. One man's war zone is another man's talent pool. But it would take time to train them, to cultivate them. Time I would spend with a target on my back, waiting for someone else to come for the crown. Sniper, top of the tower. He's history. That's a kill. for a precursor chemical stockpile here in Libertad. We need to take it out. Target down. See you. Got a visual on a chemical storage site. Could be a precursor stock. We need to destroy it, then hunt down any others hidden in the province. Taking out those precursor stocks with slow cocaine production in Libertad to a crawl. Eyes on the target. Roger that. Target marked. Halo's finished. Shot down the Halo. The local refinery chief is bringing in precursors for the cartel. 
Talk to this guy and convince him that working with Santa Blanca is bad for business. Got eyes on the refinery, Chief. Let's see what he's got to say. Hold on. What is this? Kitching out here too? We're here to deliver a message. Stop doing business with the cartel. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Cut the shit. We know Santa Blanca is getting its precursors from you. We want you to stop. Mira, pues, this company keeps Libertad alive. If Santa Blanca doesn't get what they want, they can shut us down. I can't have that, understand? Yeah, we'll understand this. If you don't stop supplying the cartel, we'll shut the rigs down ourselves. Fuck off, pinches gringos. This guy's more stubborn than goddamn General MacArthur. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way, then. Saddle up. We're heading to the oil rigs. There's one of the oil rigs. Take it out. Fire, fire, fire! Demo's primed. Demo's primed and in place. I got the C4 primed. Demo's primed and in place. He's history. Firing. Pull the hornet's nest. Demo's primed. Soldier with a submachine Here's the gun. last of the oil rigs. Let's light it up. They're on alert. That's a kill. The last of the oil rigs. Time to talk to the Via B gas refinery chief. Let's see if this will convince him to stop working with the cartel. Only that chopper. Stay low. Tango down. Go away, gringos. I've already told you the answer is no. Things have changed. Santa Blanca promised they'd keep your rigs safe. They failed. The deal is null and void. If I stop supplying the cartel, they'll shut me down. And if you keep importing precursors for Santa Blanca, I'll blow up every goddamn Via B gas rig you've got left. Take your pick. What kind of fucking choice is that? You're no better than El Puto Cartel, you know that? This isn't about me. It's about you doing the right thing. The right thing? Don't make me laugh. Guess I don't really have a choice, though, huh? When the cartel sends Sicarius to kill me, he will be on your head. I can live with that. Silencio, marche. Pinche cabrón. Pay dirt. We've got the location of the cartel boss's house. Time to pay the boss a visit. Look at that. Pretty good sized city considering the location. Reminds me a little bit of Houston. Everything is built around the oil refinery. and a sniper. Looks like the boss's house. Let's go check it out. Target acquired. Ready. Call the shot. He's gone. Ready to fire. Game target. Nobody here. 
Search the house, see if there's anything useful. This is a message from the Free Rebel Forces of Bolivia. After Blogger Ramon Feliz revealed the true evil nature of the cartel center. Got a location here for a chemical institute run by the cartel. Looks like the Buchon himself is responsible for training the students. Let's check it out. Eyes on two Sicarios. Near the container. Just say the word. Drone is airborne. Building up ahead. Looks like some kind of school. That's the Chemical Institute. Via B Gas, the local oil and gas company, used to train the locals and give them jobs once they graduated. And then, of course, a cartel showed up and that all changed. Let's see if we can find the boss in there. HBT spotted. Looks like the local Buchan. Let's grab him and make him talk. Got him. He's down. Opening fire on these truckers. Hell, sounds like they found a body. Kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't know anything. I swear. I'm just an assistant. An assistant to who? Marcus Jensen. He, he's the boss, you know. He runs everything. Where can I find him? He's supposed to be at the witch's market later, but I don't know when. Get on the phone. Arrange a meeting with him at the market. Tell him it's important. Then you let me go? That depends on how convincing you are. Hey, it's me. Look, there's something I need to show you. I can't tell you on the phone. Yes, it's important. Okay. He told me to meet him at the witch's market. In case you feel the need to call him back. Bowman, this is Nomad. Cartel Patron in Libertad is a U.S. national named Marcus Jensen. Got it. Let me run the name and I'll see what comes up. Better make it quick. We're going after him now. Nomad, I just uploaded a video for you. Marcus Jensen majored in chemistry because that's where the steady careers were. Job security, health benefits, two weeks vacation, 401k. And best of all, people were hiring. Marcus got recruited right out of grad school by La Gringa. Shelter guy that he was, thought he was getting a job with the SB Corporation, a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Bolivia, which, of course, it is. He just didn't realize what the product was. But when he finally figured it out, he decided it didn't really matter. He's making more in one month than his friends make in five years. And best of all, <laughs> chicks. So many chicks. Almost as important, for the first time in his life, he's getting respect. Lagringa Station Marcus at the Chemical Institute in Libertad Province. Over the past three years, he's been teaching cartel members how to produce high quality cocaine. True, most of these idiots never made it past the second grade, but it appears they finally found a subject they're passionate about. As for Marcus, his rationalization is... Look, someone's gonna make the cocaine, someone's gonna make the money. It might as well be me, right? You are right, Marcus, just not for much longer. Keep talking. We'll be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? We're entering the witch market. El Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or love potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Deploying drone. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. Back off! I'm a scientist! Hands! Show me your hands. Do it now. Goddamn fascists. You've got no right. I'm an American citizen. Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Get your goddamn hands off me! 
You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. Engaging tangos. He's gone. This is bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brujos that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it. Back off! I'm a scientist! Sniper, get the fuck down! You got no fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a US citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking. The great writer Balzac once said, to have a family is to become hostage to fortune. I told El Yayo we had something in common. We're both too old to start over. Me to start a new organization. You to start a new family. It's Bowman. Looks like the damage you've done to the cartel's production network just paid another dividend. What's up? Forcing the Gringa and El Yayo to start cutting the purity of their cocaine has caused prices to drop and done a lot of damage to the cartel's rep. Sucks to be them. What to do for us? We got La Gringa, but Sueño still needs a dog to kick. Yayo's managing production while the cartel keeps him prisoner in his own house. Extract El Yayo to an RP. Expect strong opposition. Word is the guards have orders to kill El Yayo if he tries to escape. Roger that. Tango down. Target acquired. Target down. Lost my target. This is the place. Let's take this low and slow. If the cartel realizes we're here, the first thing they'll do is kill El Yayo. Copy that. No, hear me out, por favor. I understand how long it usually takes to harvest the fields. But we need to pick those leaves. Vamanos, we're taking you someplace safe. I cannot leave. If the Sueños men see that I'm gone, the cartel will kill my family. You may have killed the men guarding me, but it is only a matter of time before El Sueño learns that I have escaped.
still haven't told me who you are. I have heard rumors about the phantasmas who are making buildings burn. Making things disappear. Making people disappear. I thought they were just being superstitious. We're real. And if you cooperate, we can protect you. I will cooperate. If you protect my family. Where exactly are you taking me? There's someone who wants to ask you some questions about your activities with the cartel. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. But only once my family is safe. You understand? If not, you may as well take me back where you found me. RP's just ahead. Nobody get comfortable. I get the feeling we'll be heading right back out again. Roger that. Silencio. Marche. I should have known. CIA has brought in our own Sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family. Then I decide if I will talk. Yayo's family's in the cartel district of a village called Baya Floresta. We've gotta move fast. So when you find he's gone, that family's dead. Coming up on Baya Floresta. Yayo's wife and son are supposed to be somewhere in the village. Keep your eyes open. Roger that. Heads up. I got eyes on Yayo's wife and son. Pero Dios mío, won't you sicarios leave us alone? Take it easy. We're the good guys. They're going after the wife and son. Stop them. Don't touch me. Calm down, Chewie. Your father sent us. You expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever the fuck you want as long as you shut up and follow instructions. Now follow me. Both packages secure. Let's get them back to their old man. Let's go. The old man's fault, isn't it? He's too greedy and too proud. A man cannot be both. Cállate, mijo. Ruri does his best for his family, for the cocaleros. How do we even know he's with you? How do we know he's safe? That you aren't using us to get to him, just like esos charros, esos mexicanos. I never said we weren't using you, but you are safe with us, and El Yayo is safe. I have seen la DEA and CIA do too much evil to my people. Do not expect me to trust you. Kuru gringos, Kumara Mamacoca. Viva Mamacoca! De tu los blanquiñosos! This is it. You're safe now. Rodolfo! Mirosita, estás bien? Si, mi vida. Papa, what trouble had you gotten us into now, old man? We just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes, blanquiñosos yankees, only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. I'll eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend either. Tranquilo, mijo. I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family, to ensure that my people, los Cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. Let me get what she want. Nobody's happy about it, but yeah, looks that way. Fucking ingrates. They know we saved their lives, right? All I know is the cartel's gonna have a hell of a time making cocaine without El Yayo. The rest is over my pay grade. I heard that. 
You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia. Out of work with no means to support their families. All they could do was wait. Wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. Nomad. The activity thinks it's got a 20 on Special Agent Sandoval's body. Word is Sueño's people may be holding it until they can destroy all evidence of him. I need him, you understand? I have to bring him home. I owe him that. These cartel fucks have a way of making bodies disappear. You need to find him before that happens. Roger that, Bowman. We leave no man behind. This is our AO. Isn't the first time we've had to recover the dead. You know what to look for. I got eyes and a mounted weapon. I got a mounted weapon. It's not him. Keep searching. Lost the target. Now's a good time to think about your life choices, friend. Suéltame, pendejo! That's one last bad guy. Close container up ahead. Watch my six. Got you. Target marked. No target. Repeat. No target. Got him. He's here. Fuck. So to see a man like that end up like this. His kin will be glad we found him. Bowman will too. Bowman? We've located Sandoval's body. I'm sending you the location now. Thank you. I'll send a team to pick him up. Just want to make sure he gets home. Unfortunately, I know the feeling. Nomad out. Bowman, this is Nomad. We're in Kiwani province. What have you got for us? Kiwani's a major hub for the cartel's smuggling operations. We're talking about a sophisticated network of planes, trains, and cargo trucks carrying upwards of 30 tons of powder across the border. The network is the brainchild of an American national by the name of Boston Reed. Reed's a bush pilot who's been flying for Nydia Flores in El Boquita for years, and eventually worked his way into management. How do we get Reed? That's the tricky part. Reed's cagey as fuck. He stays in hiding most of the time, preferring to work through middlemen. Psych profile says he's clinically paranoid, but I think there's more to it than that. Like what? Money transfers that don't add up, message traffic to unknowns across the border, flights that don't correspond to cartel shipping routines. Reed's moving more than powder. And he doesn't want Sueño to know about it. We've been getting reports of cartel activity around the train cemetery for some time now. See what you can find out. Nomad, I just uploaded Boston Reed's CIA profile video. Should help you track him down here in Kiwani. The mama and papa Reed raised little Boyer on apple pie and the Red Sox. Since graduating from high school, Boyer Boston Reed has done everything he could to shed that clean-cut image of his youth. Looking for adventure, Reed left his hometown of Lexington, Massachusetts, and became a bush pilot in South America. Medical records also tell a saga of gonorrhea, hep C, and herpes. As a pilot, he stayed clean for a number of years, but one fateful day, he met El Boquita. Within days, Reed was flying Santa Blanca's Coke to Georgia, Florida, and the Carolinas. With the drug smuggling came the money, and Reed loves to spend it. He's chummy with Bukita, who gave him that nickname Boston because of his accent. Make no mistake, Reed may play hard, but he works harder. Now based out of Kiwani, he coordinates all of Santa Blanca's smuggling by air. He uses temporary airstrips, and his own people don't know where they are until the last possible moment. When he's working, Boston Reed is impossible to locate and you're gonna find him.
Hold on. Signs of cartel activity up ahead. Looks like Bowman was right. What's the play, boss? Let's find the asshole in charge and see what he can tell us. Good eyes on the Santa Blanca, Lieutenant. Looks like he may be the man we're looking for. Got him. Remember, we need him alive. If that's a tour group, I'll leave my fucking boot. You think this is connected to Reed? Only one way to find out. What about the friendlies? We'll cut them loose if we can, but it's not our priority. Clear? Clear. Tango's fucking down. Fuck, okay. Watch your step. These guys know something's up. Ave Maria Purísima. Pass, pass, pass. Take it easy, okay? Calmate, pues. Let's talk about this. Maybe we can make a deal, you and me. You want a deal? How's this? Give me Rita, maybe I don't blow your brains out. I want, I want to look. I don't know where he is, okay? Reed does everything to his middlemen. What about these people? Where are they from? There's five or six villages Reed likes to hit. Places where people disappear and no one asks any questions. I see the simple. And the cartel? They get a cut too? No, no, no. We keep this to ourselves. Sueño would send every one of us to El Pozolero if he found out. I want a list of these villages you've been targeting. Now. Tranquis, okay? Whatever you say. But you didn't get it from me, all right? Ta claro? You were right about Reed. The fucker's running a human trafficking operation right under Sueño's nose. Outstanding. This could be the lever we need to force Reed into the open. Keep pulling on that thread, Nomad. Let's see where it leads. What about the cocaine smuggling network? No reason why you can't investigate that, too. Reed's at the center of both. With luck, we can kill two birds with one stone. Copy that. Nomad out. <laughs> Could be. It's a work schedule for one of the air traffic controllers at the Kiwani airport. Just so happens that this guy's always on duty when the cartel's got a flight planned. What a coincidence. Let's track this guy down and see what he knows about Reed. Inbound. Get that Just like a Leave me alone. Por favor, ¿qué quiere? Is this Santa Blanca? Unidad? What do you want? We know you work with Boston Reed. Don't bother denying it. It'll just get you hurt. Está bien, está bien. Whatever you say. I want to know about his movements. Where does he go the most? In Media Luna, pues. East of here, due east. There's an airstrip in the bush he makes deliveries to. 
When El Jefe Reed needs to meet a buyer, he has me send a code over to the network to a buyer in Media Luna. The buyer meets him at the airstrip to collect the shipment. Give me that code, and show me the computer you used to send it. Está bien, está bien. It's right here. Code sent. Now we need to get to that airstrip. We gonna rock all the way to Media Luna, boss? I had another plan in mind. One of those crates outside ought to be fueled up. Smart. Reed's men won't shoot one of their own, and the buyer won't see us coming. Who's up to date on their flight reviews? Got it. See a second target. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Shit, the fire's on the move. Get after him. The lieutenant's on the run. Silencio, marche. We're clear on this side. Pero por favor, por favor, no me lastime. I'm just a businessman. Boston Reed, where is he? I don't know where he is, okay? Everything goes through his middleman. I make an order and he delivers it. That's it. An order for what? People, okay? Men, women, you know. What happens to these people you buy? Depends. Most of the girls end up as sex slaves. The men get put to work. Some just get cut up and used for their organs. You know how much a young kidney's worth? Holy shit, you pay in cash? Usually, yeah. Fucking suitcases full. Usually? Last time I came up short, it was a rush order and I didn't have enough money on hand. I had to wire the rest to one of Reed's bank accounts. Motherfucker was pissed. But what else could I do? I want the name of the bank and the account number. Sure, yeah. I I'll write it down, and then we're done here, right? You go your way, and I go mine, right? I'm starting to put the pieces together. I'll upload the bank info to Bowman. Between that and the list of villages targeted by Reed's people, she ought to be able to come up with some solid leads. This is Bowman. I've been working on the intel you got from Kwani, and I think I've got a line on Reed. Let's hear it. I cross-referenced security camera footage at Reed's bank with suspected human traffickers operating around the villages you Provided. Got two hits, brothers Carlos and Hernando Guerrero, a.k.a. Los Enteradores. The Undertakers. Nasty pieces of work. They specialize in snatching people right out of their beds. If half of what the locals say about them is true, they're a pair of fucking monsters. We're sure they're working for Reed? They withdrew funds from the bank account you gave me a couple of days ago. Where can I find these assholes? Triangulating off their cell phones now. Stand by for coordinates. Got a hit on Carlos's phone. I'm sending you his location now. You don't sound like that's a good thing. Carlos is the dumb one. It's his brother Hernando that's most likely got info on Reed. We need to find Carlos and follow him to his brother Hernando. Just be careful. If Carlos catches you following him, he'll find some way to warn Hernando. We'll never catch him then. Understood. We'll never know we're there. Drone is up. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. That Tango's down. Let's get back on mission. I've got eyes on Carlos. That dude? You can't be serious. My 12 year old daughter could beat the shit out of him. Let's try not to spook him. We just need to hang back and let him lead us to his brother. Mother! Hang on, I'll drive. Okay, here we go. That Hernando? Gotta be. These no-loads are the fucking Undertakers? The ones all the locals are so scared of? What now? We grab Hernando and get him to tell us where Reed's hiding. What about Carlos? Fuck him. He's just an obstacle now. Hernando's the one we want. Copy that. Bro, Carnal, you thought about what we discussed the other night? What? Those girls? I don't know, Carnalito. 
No mames, dale. It's just them and their mamita now. Way out in the middle of nowhere. It would be so easy. Nena, this ain't like a bar where you put some drops in their drink. What if one of them screams and wakes up mamá? Then we fucking take care of her. Chingados, man. We're los pinches enterradores, bro. Try to fucking act like it. You sure they're twins? Dead that way. Porque luego tú... A huevo! I've seen them myself. It's like looking in a fucking mirror. And they're right, man. I'm telling you. We grab them, take them somewhere quiet, fucking kick back and enjoy ourselves till Reed's got another order. Then we throw the girls in with the rest and send them over the border. It's perfect. Está de no mamar el plan. No, que no. Mira. Can't go down. Huh? Hell, sounds like it. Their ult is escaping. Go, Perry, total sub up the end. I give up! We're clear over here. What God, is these this? Fuckers are who sloppy. the fuck are you? Where's Reed? Man, who? I got no idea who that is. Don't bullshit me, Hernando. You either tell me where I can find Reed, or I make sure El Sueño knows all about your little human trafficking ring. I don't know where Reed is. Fucker never shows his face unless he's got a shipment to make, or there's some kind of emergency. I think this qualifies as an emergency, don't you? There's a special code. I enter it into a laptop at the airstrip. Reed gets the signal and comes to the airfield. That's it. Give me the code, then tell me where I can find this airfield. Bowman, we got the Guerrero brothers. Think he's in any trouble? What do you think? <laughs> so what'd you get? A code that'll summon Reed to an airfield not too far away. When he turns up, we'll be waiting. Outstanding. Go get him, Hotshot. Coming up on the airstrip now. Target spotted. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles Big in the area. Clear. on the target. Open fire. That's one thing. There's the laptop to send the codes to Reed. I'm entering the codes now. Reed should be receiving the signal to land. He'll show up any second. Set up for the ambush. Target incoming. Get ready. Helicopter, get down. Engaging tangos. Escort car has been destroyed. Good hit on the helo. Tango down. Let's notify Bowman. Bowman, Boston Reed is no longer on the playing board. Good. Should have seen the human trafficking angle. It's been a big problem here for a long while. Of course, someone in Santa Blanc is going to bloody his paw with it. I feel like an asshole. We stopped Boston Reed and freed a few innocent folks. It's a good day. Better than others, anyway. Bowman out. This is Bowman. I just got word from an informant that El Baquita's planning something big in Kalani. What do we know? Nydia and El Baquita are desperate to get cash to Santa Blanca's investors in Mexico. They're putting together a convoy for a big shipment headed north. This is a Hail Mary. If they can't make this happen, El Sueño's not gonna be pleased. You got a location on this convoy? My informant didn't say. Get with him and find out what he knows. I'm sending you coordinates for a meet. Roger that. We're on it. Nidia finally had the answer to her problems. A convoy? The investors in Mexico wanted their money. This whole time she had been trying to sneak it out to them. Why sneak when we can force it through? Reinforced armor, heavily armed, multiple trucks, helicopter patrols, carrying 17 billion dollars. Mira, you can be serious. If we lose that money, it's over. But when we're killed, what happens to Valeria? There is no other way. No, Reina, we're not doing it. Ay, boquita, corazón. I'm not asking. 
I'm telling you. And who do you expect to lead this convoy? You're the only man I trust with something this important. But what if I don't make it back? I would never let that happen. There's the informant. Let's hear what he's got to say. Bowman says you've got something for me. It's gonna cost double this time. Take it up with her. Tell me what you got, and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay, it's like this. El Boquita's jammed up, and he's got to get a shitload of money up to the bosses in Mexico, so he's running a big convoy up there tonight. How big? A couple of armored trucks for the cash, maybe half a dozen armored cars, maybe even a couple of helicopters. Serious shit. Where's the convoy? I don't know. El Boquita's being cautious as fuck. Only he and the drivers know the route. That's not good enough. I need a location. How about this? I know where you can find El Boquita. He's here in Kiwani to make sure the convoy gets through. You follow him, he'll take you straight to the money. All right, let's find El Boquita. Not a gunshot till we have the money in sight. Heads up, we got a turret. I got eyes on a mounted weapon. That's one less bad guy. Bowman, we've got eyes on El Boquita. We'll tail him to the money. Roger that. We've got a tap on his cell phone. If he makes a call, says anything about the money or the convoy's route, you'll be able to listen in. Ready to engage. Got him. He's down. Bowman, we found the convoy. I count at least three heavy vehicles, one helo. We need to keep those money trucks from reaching Mexico. Just as important, we need to take out El Boquita. Killing him will destroy Sueño and Nidio's relationship. Roger that. Again, El Boquita is dead. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've taken out the money truck and El Boquita is KIA. Outstanding. The beauty queen is royally fucked. We'll see if she makes a run for it or tries to beg Sueño's forgiveness. Either way, she's gonna expose herself. And when she does, we go get her. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Nidia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, baby. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. Nomad, I've just got word. Thanks to us, the Beauty Queen smuggling operation is such a clusterfuck that she's a dead girl walking. Sueño sent a hit team to kill Nidia and her daughter Valeria. We got a location on the Beauty Queen. She told up at her hacienda with her daughter. We got this chick right where we want her. Get her and Valeria out of danger. She'll give us everything she knows. We're on our way. Nomad out. Sueño's people are hitting the hacienda now. Let's move. Chopper inbound. Copter, get down. Frag out. Lanier to Culeros.
I got eyes on Nydia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuídenla! Valeria! Get on that helicopter! Mama! No! You wanna kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is gonna lay a hand on my daughter. We don't wanna hurt you or your daughter. We want Sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Hold it there, like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up El Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. Close your mouth. You don't like El Jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No, I don't like him because he has no hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having hair. Maybe he can't help it. Stop talking to her. This is all a mistake. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrons who turned El Sueño against me in the first place. Our life was good before you came along. Your life was a permanent fast forward and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you, and your daughter. Right. After you destroyed all of it. My life's work, everything I had. Well, not everything. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Karenia, whatever happens, just remember that Mama loves you. Okay, Mama. Gracias. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained lay there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything. And she paid me back by running like a coward, instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. 
Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces. The activity found a message for you on one of Santa Blanca's websites. A message for us? There aren't any other four Americans causing trouble for Sueño. He says he wants to talk. He's acting like he'll negotiate, sing Kumbaya and hug it out. The meeting's bait, but it could also be a chance to draw Sueño out. Sure. It's also a chance to get yourself killed. There's nothing to stop this from becoming a two-way shooting gallery. Send us the info. If he wants to throw lead, we can throw lead. I don't think you understand. This is a bad idea. Bowman, I understand. Send us the info and we'll decide. Fine. Do what you want. Bowman out. We've got a large cartel base. Keep your eyes open. The drone is up. Phone. That's no IED. It's ringing too much. Find it. I still don't see anybody. What the fuck is going on? Stay sharp. Watch for an ambush. There's the phone. We gonna answer? I ain't picking that shit up. Fuck's sake. Hola, caballeros. This is El Sueño. It is a pleasure to finally speak with you. And here I thought we were gonna meet face to face. Don't tell me you're running late. I apologize for the subterfuge. But people in our line of work, we must be cautious. But I am not the liar. There are no Sicarios in your area. No Unidad. I only wish to talk. Tell us where you are, then we'll talk. I am only attempting to end the bloodshed. There is no need for it. It's bad for my business. And it is bad for Bolivia. This country has been trying to get back on its feet for decades. Do not kick it back down. Says the guy who turned this country into his own personal glory hole. You got something of value to say? There are four cars in front of you. Consider them a signing bonus. You better say that again. Must be something wrong with my hearing. You want to hire us? You're four of the most dangerous people alive. Of course I want to hire you. Every day you risk your life for your country. And your government pays you casi nada. Put those skills to work for me, for Santa Blanca, and you will make more money than you can imagine. Sorry, but we're gonna have to politely ask you to go fuck yourself. See, we only came to this meeting to kill you. The fact that you aren't here just means you get a little more time on this earth. But I figure you should start saying your goodbyes, because we're coming for you. And we're gonna burn you down. So be it. I will enjoy watching you try. Bowman, we're still breathing. The Sueño made us a pretty lucrative job offer. Job offer? Did you take it? Benefits package wasn't great. We told him we were gonna kill him. So you're stuck with us for now. Fair enough. Be in touch. Hola, caballeros. You four are causing more trouble than I've ever had in Bolivia. The pleasure's all ours, Sueño. But if you like, we can end this right now. Just turn yourself in. All this trouble for Ricky Sandoval. A cabron who was little more than a corrupt policeman. You have no idea what is really going on. I can give you the truth about Sandoval. Enough bullshit. I have evidence, an audio recording of Ricky Sandoval confessing his greatest sin. Then you will see that your whole mission, your entire reason for being here, is based on a lie. Are you really this desperate to save your own ass? More lies? I am many things, but a liar is not one of them. Listen to the audio recording yourself. There will be no tricks, but I doubt you will have much reason to come after me once you hear what Sandoval has to say. Say the word. That train goes down. Sueño said the audio recorder is here. Exercise some extreme caution, people. We have no idea what we're walking into.
Even if Yuri and Bolito stop, if they stop giving you pain right at this moment, you'd still die. Yeah, I figured as much. We already know the truth, but I want to know why. Tell me, Ricky, then I promise I will make the pain go away. All right, F.A. It's a little too late for my confession to do you any good, so... I chalk this up to professional courtesy. <laughs> it was me. I blew up the embassy in La Paz. You blew up the U.S. embassy in La Paz? location for intel? Yeah. And it was some enemy activity PDA nearby. or CI false flag bullshit. The rebels helped with the op, but... It was me. Why bomb your own embassy? I had no choice. My bosses were gonna pull me out of Bolivia. No one gave a shit about what you were doing down here. No one wanted to commit... to commit any resources to... to stopping you assholes. I... I needed them to pay attention. And for that, I needed the theater. And people don't pay attention at the theater unless somebody dies. Fucking hell. How is this shit possible? What do you want to do, boss? Send it to Bowman. Then ask her for some goddamn truth. Bowman, you there? Yes. What the fuck is going on? Nomad, I don't know what to say. You could start with the goddamn truth. Did you know Ricky bombed the embassy? Did you help? Of course not. I had no fucking idea. Ricky, he... messed up. Messed up? Messed up? Bowman, the entire reason we are here, the whole goddamn operation, all of this, is a big fucking lie. You think I don't know that? He was my fucking friend. He burned me harder than anyone on this. So what are you gonna do about it? Sueño is still a plague. This doesn't change that. He deserves to go to prison for the rest of his life. Prison? He deserves to get lit the fuck up and dragged through the streets by dogs. Fuck prison. I don't know. You don't know? What, what do you mean, you don't know? I mean, I don't know. I... I need time. I need to think. Bowman out. Hola, camarada. I have some very important information for you, my friend. What happened? El Sueño. One of my men claims to have seen him. We've been in Bolivia all this time. This is the first that anyone who was in cartel has seen El Sueño. Who is this man of yours? You're right to be suspicious. The information isn't clear, but with all our recent success, we must have forced El Sueño to show his face. There are no buchones left to run things. This could be our chance, Nomad. We can force the cartel out of Bolivia. Send us the location where you want to meet. We'll be there. This is the RV. Something isn't right. Come on, move. Shit, I got a body here. It's that rebel leader Amaru. We freed that guy from the cartel. I'm trying to call Pac, but it isn't going through. Think Pac and his rebels threw down with the cartel? And Pac had to run? It doesn't look like there was much of a fight here. I'm calling Bowman. Maybe she's heard from Pac. Bowman, got a situation. You set up a meet with Pac and one of his guys. With Pac? Where are you? Listen, instead of Pac, we found Amaru. He's been killed. Have you heard from Pakatari? Pakatari is here with me in Pukara. Boom. Boom. What the hell is going on here? No idea. But we gotta get to Bowman. Fast. Never thought I'd hear myself say this about a CIA officer, but if they hurt her, I'll burn this whole fucking country down to get back at them. Right there with you, man. Bowman said Pack was with her. Then the call got cut off. Might be the sat phone dropped the call. Might be packed. Fucked us. Weaver, can you track Bowman's last known in Pukara? Got it. Bowman. Pack it 
Atari. What about him? He turned on us. We were sent here as a diversion. Diversion from what? Sueño. The rebels found out where he is. Get to the mausoleum. I'll meet you there. Nomad? You understand what this means, right? From here on out, Pakatari and the rebels are no longer our allies. Contact! Rebel hostiles! that is getting your people killed. My people know that if they die today, they will return tomorrow as thousands and thousands. That's not gonna make it any less painful. If there is one thing I've learned to embrace in this life, it's pain. A lesson I will soon teach to El Sueño. Now, unless you want to end up the same way, I suggest you leave Bolivia. Thank you for your help. Adios, camarada. Fuck. These mausoleums look cute in comparison to the others. SB builds them for their Bachonis. I've got to help you. Hold on. Engaging hostiles. These mausoleums look cute in comparison to the others. SB builds them for their Bachonis. I've got a healthy enough ego to say I want something like this. What are you, a seal? Because I don't know any quiet professionals who'd need something like this. Show us your fucking hands! Now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad jefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir... Sir, that is not possible. 
I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir... Yes, I understand. Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck! who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you. If you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Bowman, no! <clears throat> the dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend. Killed him. Decapitated my partner. Massacred thousands. And he gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing, but stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees, which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakatari, the Rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along. And the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels. All with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia and Los Hijo del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder, if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, but she still created it? Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out.